What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Detective Pikachu Returns. This will be the final episode. I guess we could check out the paper. Oh. See what the paper has to say about what we did yesterday. Uh, Great Detective Pikachu. Hmm, you made the front page, Pikachu. Hey, yeah. Uh, I was just taking a break after eating at the pizzeria in Bamboo Burrow. It sure was nice of them to comp us some pizzas. Thanks for carrying the charcoal. But did you really have to eat that many slices, Pikachu? Hey, cut me some slack. I was out there moving boulders with Pangoro and stopped that golem from rolling it right into us too. That kind of strenuous activity works up the appetite, you know. Didn't expect to make headlines for it though. Maybe this is a good lesson for you about the dangers of overeating. Please, not eating something so delicious is way more dangerous if you ask me. Mm-hmm, right. Remind me again who stuffed himself so full of pizza that he needs to be carried home. Well, you see that, uh, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Vigilant Gumshoe stop robber, okay. What, there was a robbery in Bamboo Burrow? Yeah, at the curry joint. But it looks like they caught the robber right away. Oh, and look who stopped the robber, it was that Gumshoes we met. Gumshoes really took a liking to those curry buns. It was probably staking the place out, hoping for another chance to eat some. I bet my hat, I I'll bet my hat that's how it came across the robber. It says here the owner of the curry shop actually gave Gumshoes some curry buns as a reward. Well, there you go, I guess the stakeout paid off. Could sunlight be the link between Blossom's dancing and weather? <laughs> Here's a research article about Blossom's dancing. It says they're studying weather patterns when Blossom dances. They hypothesize that there's a connection between how energetically Blossom's uh, dance and how clear the weather is. Based on that, I guess they want to research it further. Wasn't it a clear sunny day when we met Blossom? Do you think their dance moves were somehow connected to how nice the weather was? I wonder, but everyone feels more energetic on sunny than rainy on sunny days and rainy days, you know. Maybe it's the other way around. When the weather is nice, that's when blossoms uh, dance up a storm. Could be. Uh, here's a research article about the relationships between bug Pokemon in different environments. It says even bug Pokemon that don't get along in one environment might become friends in another. The Heracross and Vicavolt we ran into at Bamboo Burrow were a perfect example of that. Heracross and Pinsir are both bug Pokemon, but usually they do not get along. But throw Vicavolt into the e ecosystem and voila, Pinsir and Heracross start teaming up. That tense standoff between Heracross and Vicavolt sure had me sweating. Can you imagine if a Pinsir had been there too? Things could have escalated to a real beauty of a bug battle. I'm just glad Sylveon was able to calm them down. We got a lot of articles, holy cow. What the heck? <laughs> All right, let's just read them. Let's just start off with reading. Do you remember, well, the whole game's reading. Do you remember seeing any Meowth figurines in Bamboo Burrow being sold as souvenirs? Meow Meowth figurines, maybe at the ceramic shop? Yeah, that's a reasonable guess. Anyway, it looks like they've rolled out a new Meowth figurine, a sleeping one. Apparently folks are saying these little knickknacks are just the cutest thing ever. They're practically flying off the shelves. Wow, I guess everyone loves Meowth. Now you've got me thinking about that Alolan Meowth we met. Real character, that guy. All right, here we go. <laughs> It's a feature on the curry place where Squovet was helping out. That's the joint that's famous for its super spicy toma tomato berry curry, right? Yeah, I, I remember Professor Gordon saying he really likes tomato berry, to whatever, tomato berries. Those berries are incredibly spicy, aren't they? They sure are. I tried some of that curry when I was in Bamboo Burrow way back when. It was so spicy, I thought my tongue was gonna melt off, but boy, was it delicious. Couldn't imagine eating that stuff every day, though. Squobat's gonna have a cast iron stomach. Wait, are those berries that spicy? No wonder Squovet wanted something sweet. Yamper Health Regimen gaining popularity. Huh? Yamper Health Regimen, I wonder how that works. Maybe Yamper zaps you with electricity to loosen the knots in your shoulders or something. Yamper are real dynamos, so I could see them being good at that sort of thing. Sure, I guess that might work, but it also sounds like it'd be pretty painful. Besides, that's not what the Yamper Health Regimen is at all. It actually just says you should take Yamper to a park and run around with it. Run around with that little live wire? I don't think so. Listen to me, Tim. That's no health regimen. That's a marathon. Well, whatever they call it, exercise is still good for you, isn't it? It looks like they're hosting a meetup for beginners at uh, Tonti Park. Why don't you join them, Pikachu? <laughs> yeah, running around in circles is going to be a hard pass for me, Tim. I'm the brains of this operation, not the brawn. What happened to great detective tip number 12? Use those legs while investigating. Oh, you did not just use my own tips against me. Great detective Pikachu lookalike contest. So he's talking to his dad right now, right? A contest to see who looks the most like me? Wow, whoever came up with that idea deserves a raise. 
Looks like it was held at Fountain Plaza. Most of the participants entered their partner Pokemon into the contest, but some people actually entered themselves, decked out in homemade Detective Pikachu costumes. Whoa, do I really have that many fans? Not sure I'm ready for that level of popularity. Oh yeah, then why are you grinning so hard right now? So who won the contest? The winner was a last minute entry, a wild <laughs> mimic you. Look, Pikachu, it even had a detective hat like yours. What do you know, I've even got Pokemon super fans. Being loved like this, it's really hitting me right in the warm and fuzzies. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> There's a lot to read. Wow, it says here that Draclog fly at over 120 miles an hour. The one we met was flying really slowly when it was looking for Dreepy. I didn't realize Draclog could actually fly that fast. It, prob it probably didn't want to fly so fast that it flew right past Dreepy. Over 120 miles per hour, huh? Amanda drives like a maniac, but I think Drac Loke could give her a run for her money. Don't even joke about something that terrifying. The Farfetch'd Tale. Here's an article about a book that's coming out this week. The Farfetch'd Tale. What's it about? It's a historical fantasy no novel about Sir Fetched. The wandering warrior Sir Fetched embarks on a long journey full of chance encounters and fare thee wells. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll fall in love. This adventure story is one for the ages. Wow, sounds like a pretty epic tale. Do you suppose that Sir Fetch we met in the bamboo forest ever went on a journey like that? Well, it was no ordinary Pokemon, I can tell you that. By now, it's probably set out a new adventure with Pawnyard. Oh. Wait, there's a mythical Pokemon in the forest at Bamboo Burrow? I didn't hear anything about that when we were in Bamboo Forest, did you? No, nope, but considering the timing, you'd think it would have come up. How do they describe this mythical Pokemon? It says no one's actually seen it clearly. They just reports of people peeking into the tall grass when they hear a sound and finding nothing but a hole in the ground. Someone did see a shadowy shape leap away from them, though. Hey, Pikachu, what if it was actually a Pokemon we know? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's got to be Dunsparce. We convinced that researcher got to keep Dunsparce a secret, but it looks like word got out anyway. Poor Dunsparce probably just wants to live a quiet life. I guess it'll have to lay low until the rumors die down. Finally, the daily crossword. <laughs> Okay, Tim, I'll let you solve this one today. Gonna test your deductive skills to see how far you've come as a detective. Sure, whatever. Read me the hints. Here goes. This sharp-eyed Pokemon keeps watch from above. That'll be knocked out. Next, this Pokemon bites and eats anything it comes across. I'm guessing Dino? Not bad so far. How about the next one? This agile Pokemon has leaves growing on its arms and head. I think that's Shift. Wait, no, Groival. Wow, you got them all. Way to go, Tim. I can't believe my little boy has grown up to be such a fine young man. Your dad's just so proud of you, son. Okay, quit being so dramatic. Those fake tears are a bit much even for you. We're done with the paper. And what's this, a box of pizza? What is this? <laughs> it's a bamboo charcoal pizza we brought back from Bamboo Burrow. They sure make a mean pie. They sure do. It was super generous of the manager to thank us for our help with free pizza. We've still got leftovers from yesterday. Maybe I'll have a nibble before we head out. What about mom? Right. Are you going out again? Just don't do anything too risky. Harry never stopped investigating, no matter how dangerous it got, and he... Just be careful, Tim. I will, Mom. Irene, I didn't realize how, just how much you worried about me. I'm sorry, but we almost solved this. Wait for me, Irene. Yep. What's she want? Pikachu seems different from his usual self. because he's your dad. Different? How? It just seems like he's got, I don't know, old man energy now. <laughs> What? Really? He's always seemed like that to me. Uh, not old. Experienced. Like an experienced great detective. Am I really acting older since I got my memories back? <laughs> yep. Alright, we're leaving. Oh no, is Pikachu depressed? It's fine, I don't take it personally or anything. All right, so we're, we're out of here, right? Mm-hmm. Time to get going. Yep, let's mosey. Okay, there's something I gotta do. I'll meet you there. Wait, what? <laughs> You'll like it, I promise. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're out of coffee beans. Can you pick some up? Okay. The usual dark roast, right? Yeah. Huh? Sophia, you can... Uh-huh. 
I've understood you this whole time. <laughs> now that's my little girl. Uh, we don't have time for this. <laughs> See you later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. So she doesn't know that's his da her, her dad, though. A plan that transcends time. We're at the Pokemon Unity Lab. It's abandoned, though. It says. So why are there people around? Why are there Pokemon around? <sighs> so this is the Pokemon Unity Lab. Hmm, yeah, this is definitely where Mama used to work. You're sure this is where Unitas' base is? That's what I heard, but it seems too quiet, doesn't it? It looks like there might be a janitor over there, but still. Yeah, it's weird, but nowhere near as weird as Pikachu actually being your dad. I'm still trying to wrap my head around that. His body is supposed to be around here somewhere, right? Yeah, at least is what we think. Then we better find him. Let's look around by ourselves for a bit while we wait for Pikachu. I'm curious about what's inside. Okay, let's go. All right, talk to the janitor. I'll go talk, look at these Pokemon really quick first just to activate them or whatever we do. Hello there. All right. <laughs> Uh, Garbodor is hanging around. There's a Diglett over here. Diglett. <laughs> oh, a Diglett. Have you seen these suspicious looking people? Let's talk to it. Once. Yeah, so we, we need to talk to these ones Pikachu's here, but I'll go ahead and just like activate them now just so we get the little yeah, cutscene. Out for a stroll. Tangela's out for a Tangela. Tangela? I don't know. I don't know how to, uh, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's cold bodies covered with vines. All the time. Here we go. Got the flow. Where's the janitor? I don't know. Huh? Steel drums. Where was the janitor? I saw him. Where the heck was the janitor? There he is. Excuse me. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Who are you? Oh, don't worry, we're not suspicious. We're students at Rhyme University. We're researching this area for class. Would it be okay if we interviewed you? Uh, well, it's nice to meet such dedicated students. You caught me by surprise. Nobody ever comes around here. But if you're here for school, then sure, ask me anything you like. Thanks for the save, Rachel. I got you. About this facility, this place used to be a Pokemon research facility. Apparently, a bunch of extensive projects and whatnot were being done here, but it's been shuttered since the R incident. <sighs> The lab is massive, isn't it? Yeah, it's so huge, it's hard to keep clean. How many entrances are there? Entrances, that's a weird question. There are four in total, three large entrances and one small one. I see, must be a pretty big facility then. I'll say, in fact, this place is so big, you two are actually the first people I've ever run into. No wonder you were so surprised to see us. Wait, we're the first people you've seen here? I didn't realize how few people came here. Excuse me? Do you know anything about the incident that happened here? Only what I saw in the news. Some Pokemon went completely berserk here two years ago because of that R stuff. I heard someone actually died because of it. It's a real tragic story. Yeah, it is. This place has been shut down ever since. Rhyme City hired me to work here. The facility may not be in use, but they didn't want to just let it fall into disrepair Excuse either. Me? Does anyone else work here? Occasionally someone comes by to take over one of my shifts, but otherwise it's pretty much just me. Not many people want to come all the way out here so far from the city. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what's inside the building. Let's go take a look. Sure. I'll just go in. Why not? Doors locked. Let's find another entrance. Is there any like... I'll look at this again just to... Yeah, steel drums. All right. Is this an entrance too? Doors locked. Where's the small way? And do we need Pikachu, you think? Oh. Oh, they can open slightly. Oh, I guess the lock's broken. But it feels like they're chained shut or something on the other side to keep them from opening. We better look for another way in. All right. What's this? It's a drain. This is also locked. Uh, so we've checked out everything. She wants to talk to me for a minute. What's up? We shouldn't be overheard here. The janitor says he never sees any people around here. 
and the place has been closed since the incident. Too, the building's definitely locked, so it'll be hard to get inside. We don't have much to go on right now. Yeah, to learn anything else new, we need to talk to the Pokemon. We can just wait for Pikachu. It looks like he's late. What do you think Pikachu's up to? Tim, uh, why are you still calling your father Pikachu? Well, it's hard for me to call him dad to his face. I mean, he still looks like a Pikachu. When you put it like that, it does sound awkward. There he is! Hey! Sorry for the wait! Oh, wow. All of his friends from before. Wow. Well, here we go, guys. <laughs> you all came to help. Thank you. Wow, Pikachu, you have so many friends. This ragtag crew is my entourage. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what? Did I miss something? Oh, Pikachu said... That... Tim, there's no time for that. We got work to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Something's odd about this place. What do you mean? We looked around for a while while we were waiting for you, trying to find some signs of Unitas's activities. Thing is, we didn't find anything at all. Hmm, now that you mention it, it does seem a bit quiet around here, but based on what I've learned from other Pokemon, this place seems like our strongest lead. And more importantly, I've just got the good old-fashioned hunch that this is the place. Unitas is hiding here, I'm sure of it. But where? That's what we've got to find out. Sounds like you've already finished the preliminary investigation. Let's start talking to some Pokemon. The ones hanging around here ought to know something. Sounds like a plan. You two are going to conduct some interviews together, right? In that case, case, I'll keep looking around the area. Thanks, Rachel. You and the others you can just hang back for now. We'll come and get you if we need anything. All right, Tim, let's get started. Um, so what about him? You help the janitor pick up the trash. Sounds like you're a hard worker. Hmm, you don't expect to be praised just for collecting snacks? All right, trash is like a treat for you. Just like that trubbish we met the other day. So tell us about the building, then. Have you ever seen any other humans here? He says he's never seen any other humans besides the janitor. That tracks with what the janitor said. Um... Is there any way to get inside that building? Ah, uh, it's never been inside. Gotcha, well that doesn't help us. Hmm, have you noticed anything strange around here lately? Anything at all? Sometimes you find strange snacks? Sorry, but we're not here to talk about your snacks. Hmm, is this one of the snacks you found today? It's a food wrapper. Oh, we got a food wrapper, that's interesting. Why would a used food wrapper be here if people don't come here? What, you find these all the time? Even though no one comes here. Hey, mind if we keep if, if we keep this? We could give you some other trash in exchange. Thanks, this could be a clue we're looking for. A used food wrapper at a facility no one ever goes to. What could it mean? It means people are still here. I'm not an idiot. All right. Do you mind if we ask some questions, Diglett? Hmm. Do you live here? And this place is nice because it's comfy digging. And it's nice being able to dig as much as you want without any humans around. Humans don't usually consider Diglett to be pests, you know. Farmers especially love Diglett. The soil is always perfectly tilled after you dig through it. Yeah, for real. Don't be afraid to visit places with humans around. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Tell me about the building, though. Uh, Diglett dig. Diglett hasn't seen any people around, but it did mention something pretty interesting. What did it say? Sometimes at night when Diglett's underground and trying to sleep, it hears a lot of noise. Noise underground, you mean? Yep, it's got, it got curious about the noise and we went into the building to check it out, but no one was there. When it went back underground, though, it could still hear the noise. Noise when nobody's there, strange. Wait, how did you get inside the building? It says it dug a hole through the floor of the building. Great, where's that hole? Can we take that hole? Wow, it's surprisingly powerful to be able to dig into a building from underneath it. I wonder what that sound underground was. Probably like a basement. It's probably underground, obviously. Now, what about you? Let's see what uh, Tangela has to say. 
Sunbathing sounds nice and peaceful. That's what he did for fun. I bet that feels great. Uh, you've never seen any other people around here besides the janitor. Wait a second, there's something caught in ta Tangela's vines. Shards of glass. You think they might have gotten into you when you went inside the building? Interesting, there must be a broken window somewhere or a hole. Wait, you've been inside? How'd you get inside? The door right near us. Huh. These smaller doors, huh? What, these doors were unlocked until just recently? So now they're locked and you can't get in anymore. This place supposedly been shut down for ages. Why would these doors be locked all of a sudden? I don't know, but it definitely raises some questions. Hey. Uh, so, let's turn our attention there. All right, they're chained shut. Let's try them again now. Why not? Well. Are they still locked? So they're locked from the inside. What's going on? All right. Well. We checked everything we can. Let's uh, deduce really quick. I think the chances are pretty good they're using this place as their base. I got a few reasons for thinking that. The first is Diglett's story about the noises it heard coming from the building. The second is what Tangela said about those smaller doors being locked from inside. And third is a food wrapper that Garbador found. And any one of those things on their own wouldn't mean much. But taken together, we can be pretty we could pretty safely conclude there are people here. Exactly. I think those things are linked by more than coincidence. Guess we really do need to look around inside. Alright, so um ways in the building. I think there was a way uh, to, to, there's a hole clearly. Um, I think there's a hole. I think we do the hole. No! You mean crawl through the hole and get inside the building? Love where your head's at, but I don't think that hole is... Oh, the hole's too small. Okay, yeah. I didn't think about that, honestly. All right, uh, let's have new trash is found on the ground. There must be a way in and out of the building that someone's been using. All right, let's try that. Sure, why not? Okay. All right, good. That sounds like a good plan. Let's do that. Skip, skip, skip. It's worth a try. I feel like I know which parts I could easily skip now. Oh. We're hoping to follow a scent, then it's time to ask for Growlithe's help. Agreed, good thing I asked her to come. Now let's go ask her. So Growlithe, there you are. Uh, we need your help to track the scent. Mm -hmm. All right, here's the scent. Hey. Can you try tracking the scent from around the small door by Tangela? Sure can. All right, so we're going this way. Where are we going? Kind of as I suspected, there was something going on over here. This is the sense over here, past these steel drums. Mm -hmm. Pikachu says the, cur the scent continues past here. There's no way to get back there to search. Yeah, it'd take all day to move that many steel drums. Guess we're gonna have to get smashy. You've gotta be kidding. I know it's a rough approach, but we don't have time to dawdle. The drums at least seem to be empty, so I'm sure we can enlist one of the pals to help. Uh, have you always approached your investigations this way? Depends on the situation. It's a great detective's job to find the shortest route to the truth. So, who do we ask for help? Uh, I think we ask him, because he's the one who smashes stuff, right? All right, let's go. Yes, right now. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to do this. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. To break all of them. Why not break this one too? Okay, well there's a hole in the wall. All right, so I wanted the trash blew in from there. Uh, so we'll have to smash open a bigger one. Whoa, whoa, if you do that, the whole building could collapse. We'll unlock the doors from the inside. For now, you you two just wait right here. Tim, check this out. Mm -hmm. You're right. It looks like we can get inside through this hole. Are you ready to head in, Tim? Of course. That's why we're here. All right. Let's do it. We're in the lab lobby.
Interesting. So this is the, uh, what the inside of the lab looks like. It sure is messed up. Did you hear me, Pikachu? Oh, I was just so sh shocked by how trash this place is. Kind of speechless. Yeah, I know they weren't doing any upkeep, but it, uh, would it really get this bad in just two years? So this is where it happened. Hmm, what's up, Rachel? This must be where the Pokemon went berserk during the R incident two years ago. That's why there's a hole in the wall and the room's been in such disarray. I see, this place must have been left just as if, uh, just as it was at the time of the incident. Mama must have been. Are you okay, Rachel? If being here is too painful, it's totally fine if you want to wait outside. I think I just need a moment for myself, if that's alright. I thought I was ready for this, but it's hitting me harder than I expected. Take your time, I understand. Poor girl, I'm sure she would have preferred to steer clear of this place, but all signs point to Unitas being here. Let's start looking for clues. Right. Hmm, something felt strange when I came into this room. What could it have been? Well, there's obviously a, a wrapper on the floor. That means this trash is another piece of evidence that people have been in and out of this place. Yeah, and there might be more proof, too. Let's keep looking. Oh! Footprints. Are they human? Could be, but they're... Couldn't it be? They're too big. There's dust over them. I think these are probably Tangela's footprints. Okay. Uh, what else? What's going on over hmm. here? This lab scientist must have used this cupboard. What's up there? I can't see what's on the shelves. You gotta tell me. Wait a second. I'm looking. Looks like it's just chemicals and stuff. Hey, what's this? It's a key. What a weird place to keep a key. Wonder what it's for. Let's take it with us. We might be able to use it later. Hmm. Let me know if you see anything strange. I can't see what's up there from down here. You'll be the first to know. Hmm. Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to look, but you keep interrupting me. Hmm. All right, is that it? Get out of here. Hmm. Oh, that, that okay. I thought it was making me talk to him instead. Hmm. What do you suppose these chemicals are used for? Careful, Tim. The last thing we need right now is you hurting yourself. Yeah, I know. You worry too much. There's a note here. Read it aloud, would ya? From the management team regarding search procedures upon discovery of the object in question collected immediately. Once the object is collected, use concrete to seal off the first floor hallway. Please be aware of the following. Destroy the switchboard on the first floor. Do not leave any trash behind, such as food or drink containers. Due to the building's dilapidated state, watch your step as you move about. These appear to be instructions of some kind. Interesting. What do you suppose this management team is? I have no idea, but at least now we know for sure that people have been here. Yeah, we still don't know who's been here or how many of them are, but they were clearly following orders to search for something. But how did they get out here? Good question, the door was locked from the inside. And why did the note say to seal off a hallway with concrete? There's still a lot we don't understand. Let's keep investigating. What is this? Oh. What do you think the stain is? Kind of looks like a chemical spill or something. Maybe some chemical spill during the Pokemon Rampage. Based on the smell and how dusty it is, I'm guessing this isn't a recent stain. So that's not recent. Is this, is this the switchboard they destroyed over here? Oh. The switchboard panel is open. It's completely busted. I guess this is why there's no electricity. The note said to destroy the switchboard on the first floor, remember? So someone did this on purpose, but why would they need to do this? They probably wanted to make it look, look like the first floor didn't have electricity to make this place look shut down and abandoned. I think so. It seems pretty likely, especially since the notes seem to contain instructions for keeping something hidden. <sighs> Everything's a mess inside the cabinets. This wasn't done by a rampaging Pokemon. Someone must have been searching the room for something. Hmm. Oh, we can go this way. Interesting. We have a key. Hmm. These are the doors we couldn't open because of the chain. The chain is fastened with a padlock. We need to get this unlocked so Dar Darmanitan and Pangoro can get in here. Sure would be convenient if that key we found earlier is for this lock. Let's give it a try. Here goes. We did it. All right, that takes care of the chain. So they're coming in. Derma. Sorry for the wait, fellas. Hmm. So Tim, what are your thoughts after looking the room over? 
it's pretty clear that someone's been coming in here. And based on that note, we know that they had a purpose for doing so. Right, we're light on details, but we know something fishy's going on. We should try to figure out what exactly happened here. Alright, so we know... I think we could deduce something. Let's be smart about it this time. Don't... Hmm. Someone has been living here. The place has been used as a Pokemon playground. Somebody sealed off a hallway in the back. Someone was researching R. I don't think someone's living here. Okay. All right. So someone sealed something off. So we gotta we gotta find it. Should we use Luxray to figure out where it is, and then maybe use someone to bash it open? That's an idea I have. Hmm. If we're looking for a hallway that's been sealed up, we should probably ask one of our friends for help. Yeah, let's go ask. Let's go ask Lux Ray. Uh, so let's see if we can get his help and take a look through. How do we do it? There's the hallway. All right, bingo. Break down the wall, Darmanitan. All right, let's smash it. Here we go. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we got it. Hmm. Stop it. I'm trying to exit this part. There we go. Now we have a path. Uh, someone and some stairs leading down to someone must have really wanted to keep this hidden. All right, we're going to the basement one. Only one way to find out. Are you ready to go down there too, Rachel? Yeah, thanks, Tim. I'm okay now. I need to know how Papa and Unitas are connected. Okay, let's go, everyone. Let's see what we see. We're in the basement. I didn't realize this place had such a big basement. Yeah, the floors above aren't in use anymore, but it sure looks like one is. If Unitas would go so far as to steal up a hallway, they must be keeping some pretty big secrets down here. And now's the time for us to uncover them. Yeah, let's go. What's this feeling? What's wrong? I think we're getting closer to my body. You can tell? Apparently, yeah. I wonder if Mewtwo's power has anything to do with it. So dad's body is somewhere in this building. Oh, and one more thing. It feels like Pikachu's consciousness is growing weaker inside me. Weaker? Why? It could be because I know who I am again. Memories and all. Oh, no. I don't know how long Pikachu can hold out, so we can't afford to dawdle. Don't worry. We won't let Pikachu's consciousness disappear. I swear we'll find a way to return you two to normal. Tim. What? We will now be conducting the final test of the cubes. Management and operations teams, please stand by uh, on the bottom floor, basement five. That broadcast just now sounds like there's a lot to investigate. Tim, can we talk? Sure, what's Tim, up? You know how Sophia said she could understand what I was saying all along? Mm -hmm. I wonder why she never brought it up. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so they can't open this. It's locked. Looks like it needs a passcode. Oh! A four-digit passcode. So we're going to look for a passcode, I assume. Hey! Wait, Tim. What is it? Look over there. Is that... Let's hide and see what happens. Where are you going to hide? Oh, just behind the wall. Hey, did you remember to turn in the Aurora drop? Yeah, I just dropped it off. Wasn't easy to get, though. Cramorant just refused to cough it up. What are you all doing here? The mayor is here today to inspect the production line. No slacking off. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma you, come with me. I need somebody to help set up on floor B5. Ma'am. You two, stand by on this floor until further notice. Copy, Copy that. that. I heard people talking, so I came to see what's going on. Unitas is here, just like we thought. Our deductions were right on the money. And did you hear what they just said, Tim? Yeah, something about the Aurora dropping a production line. 
Based on that broadcast we heard earlier, they got to be talking about producing the cubes. And Papa's here to conduct an inspection. The mayor might still be on floor B5. Let's head down there and see if we can catch him. Guess we'll need to find a way to get downstairs. We got to be careful, though. There's still some Unitas goons on this floor. They might have gone into one of the rooms around here. We should keep our guards up if we decide to walk into any of them. Should I ride on you? No. I thought maybe, but no. Oh! The button's not working. I bet you need a key card. What does this say? Oh! Map of the facility. Lucky us, the floors all have labels. Let's see, floor B1 is labeled management team, B2 and three operations team, research team, four and five management operations and research. Seems like Unitas is made up of three teams. There's a map of this floor too. Looks like we're on B1, the floor used by the management team. The map says there are two rooms on this floor, and if we want to get down, we could use either the elevator or take the stairs. As long as we can get there without being seen. But for now, let's investigate. I think hmm. the stairs would be best. Um, Four-digit number. All right, let's go look for that four-digit number then. Oh, there's voices on the other side. Can I not use Luxray to like look and see like, well actually there's only one, there doesn't seem to be another hallway behind it, so. Uh oh, wait, did you hear the sound coming from that room just now? What do you think that was? I don't know, as much as I like to find out, we can't just go barging blindly into rooms if we want to avoid Unitas. All right, so then let's uh, use, I mean, I already tried to talk to him once, but let's try to talk to Luxray again because I think we need his, his abilities here. Can I not, can I really not use him? Yeah, man. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm so confused. No one's really saying anything. All right, let me let me talk to her. Yes. The vibe down here is way different compared to upstairs, and I've got a bad feeling about that broadcast we just heard. We'll just need to proceed carefully down here if we want to expose this organization's plans. For now, I think it's best if just Pikachu and I take a look around. Got it. I'll wait here. Hmm. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh. There's a water cooler here. The old unit has watering hole. Even the bad guys got to wet their whistles, I suppose. Then we better not hang around for long. Someone is bound to come by sooner or later. Oh. Inspections occur nightly to ensure that the cubes are operating properly. Maintenance staff will be checking each room for any abnormalities. Thank you for the cooperation. The maintenance staff will be going in and out of the rooms at night. There's like looks like a little vent there for Pikachu. And they got to run these checks seven nights a week. Sounds like a real grind. Oh. The passcode to access the stairs is updated monthly. The passcode is available in the standby room. Aha, we can find the passcode in the standby room. Now there's a handy piece of intel. Great. Yeah, but there are two rooms on this floor. Quickest way is to check them both. Just be sure. Let's look at the other notice notices too. Oh. Security protocols have been updated due to in instances of Pokemon escaping captivity to prevent further incidents. Pay close attention to each Pokemon's behavior. In the event that a Pokemon escapes, immediately notify all on-site personnel via intercom. Escape Pokemon are to be recaptured any means necessary. They're keeping Pokemon captive here? Sure seems that way. This notice is warning people not to let any Pokemon escape. All right. In past escape attempts have put him on high alert as if this wasn't already challenging enough. Hmm. We can find the passcode of the stairway in the standby room, but there might be Unitas members in there, right? Yeah, we can't just go waltzing into a room without seeing what's inside first, which means we need a hand from Luxray. Glad we're on the same page. So now I finally get to go ask him. That's a ventilation duct. You might be able to squeeze through it, Pikachu. You're dredging up painful memories of the police station and the ruins, but I guess we could go through the gather info as a last resort. We'll keep it in mind as le at, at least. Are you sure you'll fit? You won't want you won't get stuck in there. Don't sweat it. All of our all of, all our running around these past few days have got me nice and limbered up. But I don't know if I want to crawl through right at the very moment. Fair enough. We don't even know where it leads yet. So let's uh, now I can finally ask Luxray for help in the order that the game wants us to do it in. So here we go, Luxray. Let's go. 
Yes. Okay. I think we should just get Darmanitan and just bash everyone's heads in. Uh, so, let's see. Just an idea. Don't judge me. Oh, yeah. Well, nothing. Uh, normal looking boards. You don't think it was captured? It sounds like we can't go in that room to investigate. All right, what about this room? Nobody, but there's a, a Pikachu, or uh, I mean a Pokemon. What is it, Luxray? There's a Pokemon collapsed on the floor in there. What? Tell me more, whatever you can see. There's a whooper that's gone all limp. Man, oh. we gotta do something. No, they're saying that, they're saying it. But how can we get in there? That, there's the vent. Just like in jail. That sounds promising. The door appears to be locked. Then there's only one way to get inside. Where's the duct in that room lead? All right. I know. I know how to do it. Over here, probably. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Let's head back to Tim. Just, just go. Okay. Fine. Tim. I'm so far away. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's stop riding Lux Ray so we can mm -hmm. talk about this. Hey, Tim, I gotta tell you something. Keep it down, Pikachu. Someone might hear you. All right, I'll just tell you quietly then. There's some Unitas guys and Electrode in the first room down the hall, which means we can't go in there. As for the second room, there aren't any Unitas guys, but. But what? A whooper's collapsed on the floor in there. I'm worried about its condition. Shut away like that. That's awful. Is there anything we can do to help it? Shh. N now look who needs to turn down the volume. I feel the same way as you, Tim. We've got to help it. Looks like the duct in the far side of the floor leads into that room. I ought to be able to squeeze through, especially if it's for a rescue mission. Sounds good. Let's go. Sounds like a plan. And now I just walk all the way down here. All the way down here. All right. Got it here. Let me help you get into the duct. Thanks, Tim. Come on, Tim. Give me a boost. Sure thing. Hurry and go help. I got it covered. Squeeze. <laughs> Out in one piece. Hmm. Now I just need help the weakened whooper Luxray told me about. Oh, wow. <laughs> Loves to stay hydrated. There's a water cooler. Hey, you okay? What happened to you? Oh man, it's in bad shape. I need to unlock the door so I can call Tim and the others. Is there a passcode in here? Oh, Tim can look at it, I guess. Hey. All right. It's in pretty bad shape, poor thing. What could have made it collapse like this? It must need water. Whooper's whole body is dried up. We need to get to some water ASAP. I'm pretty sure there's water on this floor. Yeah, let's go get some for Whooper. All right. Water's over here. Don't need a cup. Does it have, they don't only have cups. There we go. There we go. We saved it. Easy. It says, thank you. Thank goodness it's okay. What's this whooper doing here anyway? Good question, let's ask. Okay. Your skin looks all damp and healthy again. That's great to see. Huh, the air actually feels a little cooler next to whooper. Thanks to his damp ability, whooper can make the air around itself more humid. Interesting, it actually feels pretty refreshing. Why are you here, whooper? Hmm. What were you doing here in the first place, Whooper? Some humans captured and brought it here against its will. Just like Darmanitan and its friends. What a horrible thing to do. And they wouldn't give it any water either, so it got weaker and weaker over time. Whooper usually lives in water, and the sudden change in the environment must have been tough for it. Do you know anything about Unitas, Whooper? Whooper says something was put on its back. After that, its mind went blank. That explained why it doesn't know anything about Unitas. I'm sure that something was a cube. Unitas must be conducting experiments on the poor Pokemon. 
Okay. All right, Wooper seems okay. Let's get that passcode and get downstairs, is what they say. So let's investigate the computer area. A photo of the Aurora drop. It looks like an infinity stone almost. What's this all about? There might be some valuable info on the desk. Hmm. All right, we should look for a passcode wherever we can. Some people write them down. What's this? Hmm. Uh, handle the Aurora drop with care and disinfect it. It may be coated with cramorant saliva. Be sure to finish before Mayor Myers comes to inspect. Did this guy? This guy was. I remember him. Oh. The photo of Sableye. Great. I think yeah, this is the same Sableye met in the police station. We were roommates actually. But what's a photo of it doing here? There's something written on the back. Huh, what exactly are people supposed to watch out for about the jewels? <clears throat> Their document's full of complicated looking equations. You gotta take a specialist to make sense of all this. What is down here? Is it a drawer? Uh, this desk reminds me of all the times your mom would get annoyed with me. <laughs> she used to say, it took a lot of talent to clutter up a room the way I did. Huh. What's this folder? Let's see, it's labeled business plan. The budget numbers are enormous. Wow, that's a lot of zeros. I wonder where this organization gets its funding. I'm not sure we can figure that out from this document alone. Oh. This looks like a report about some experiments, but why is there another photo of the Aurora drop attached to it? Good question. How about you skim the report and see what it says? Did the Aurora drop fall from space in a couple of other section titles? Uh, namely, meteorites and extraterrestrial viruses and the Aurora drop and meteoric energy. The Aurora drop in outer space? I can't wrap my head around what this research is even about. Hmm. Looks like there's nothing else to investigate here. That's annoying. I didn't see a password at all. Seems like Unitas has been doing some really detailed research on the Aurora drop. They might have had something to do with its theft, too. Why don't we think about this for a second, Tim? Sure, let's think. If Unitas was involved in the jewel theft, what exactly was their motive? I'm curious about that, too. How are they planning to use the Aurora drop? Let's think about it. Let's deduce. Hmm. Uh, they were going to further their research. To no. No, they had plenty of funding, so they're gonna, re you know, okay. further their research. All right, we still need that passcode. Hmm. Well, now we know where the Aurora drop was stolen, but we still haven't found the passcode. Let's really give this room a thorough search. Is this the passcode up here? Oh. There's a notice on the wall. In the event of the fire, other emergency, an alarm would sound throughout the entire facility. If you hear an alarm, please evacuate immediately. All right. As sketchy as, as this organization is, I'm glad they've at least got a disaster preparedness plan. Don't worry. I'm gonna solve this case soon so you can go back home. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hmm. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Oh. There's an intercom here. It looks like we can use the intercom to broadcast to other rooms in the facility. Great, we could use, uh, we could broadcast that thing that we said or something, and then we do evacuate. Mm. I don't know if there's anything else to find in this room. Yeah, you're right. Well, let's do the uh, intercom thing. We know mm. what to do, right? So we gotta look at the other, other room, and thus uh, we will begin deducing so that we can broadcast mm. uh, some sort of an alert. Uh, so report a fire over the intercom. Uh, report a Pokemon's escape over an intercom. Was it a fire or a... Let's do a fire. No. Everyone in the room would rush out. No, Tim, think about it. The notice on the wall during emergencies. Don't you think they'll realize something's up if the alarm's not sounding? All right, so they don't want that. Hmm. What about... Uh... Pokemon's escape? Okay. All right, there we go, sure, we'll report that. 
Little white lie is what they said, right? Uh, so false alarm over the. I don't know why I thought fire. I've been I've been not been hitting it quite right this time. Hey. All right, let's just use this thing to flush those guys out. Will Growlithe and the others be okay? Good point. We should probably they should probably steer clear of the stairs. Let's go tell them. Okay. We got them all to move. Now those Unitas mooks won't run into them when they leave the room. Phew, okay, here goes nothing. Let's see, the number on the the number for the room next door is whatever. Hello, this is floor B1. A Pokemon has escaped the facility. I need you on the first floor right away. All of you! <laughs> but, but we were told not to leave our posts. Are you disobeying a direct order from your superior? Get yourselves up here now! Y yes sir! Emergency! Mobilize and move out! All right, get him out of there. Flush him out. We did it. They actually fell for it. Okay. Sounds like it worked. Now those Unitas bozos are gone. We can finally get into the standby room. Let's check it out before they come back. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, the electrode. Charge to the limit. Don't hurt me. What? Oh, yikes, the electrode's still here. Oh, no. Wait, is this electrode about to self destruct? Sure looks like it. This is bad, Tim. We've got to calm electrode down, but how? I think I know a way, Tim. Pokemon can't use self destruct if there's too much moisture in the air. Really? Then that means we just need to dampen the air. Thanks, Rachel. Let's hurry, Tim. I need you quickly. We need you to do it. Ah. Whooper, come on. Could you help us dampen the air in there? Thanks a ton. I knew we could count on you, buddy. If it's willing to help us. Thanks, Whooper. You're a real lifesaver. Okay, let's go stop that electrode. There's a fight. This could be bad or amazing. Ah. Oh, I'm so sorry, Electro. It's not going to work out for you. It's too damp. Yes. Electro seems fine. It says thanks for stopping the explosion. The credit should really go to Whooper. It's okay to take some credit now and then, Tim. But hey, Electro, why'd you rev up to explode all of a sudden? You got startled by some stranger showing up out of the blue, huh? So it wasn't ordered to attack us or anything. Apparently, it only order, its only orders were to wait here. Excuse me. Uh, so tell us about yourself. It says it's much more prone to exploding when it's stressed. I imagine being shut in a little room like this would be really stressful. Apparently, that's not the problem. It's just upset that those Unitas folks haven't been playing with it much recently. Oh, I see. Hey. Can you tell us anything about the people in white uniforms who were in this room earlier? Oh, this electrode wasn't brought here by force. It's been the partner of a Unitas member since before all this happened. Really, huh? I guess some people in Unitas actually care about Pokemon. Electrode says they're all really friendly. I'm surprised to hear that. They've just been using Pokemon like tools. It's hard to imagine them as anything other than bad guys. Maybe they were just nice around Electrode so it wouldn't explode. <laughs> Somehow that's even harder to imagine. All right, great. Mm -hmm. Now the, the, that the Electrode's calmed down, we can finally search this room. Wooper's ability really came in clutch. Thanks, Wooper. We really appreciate you defusing the situation before it could blow up in our faces. Okay, Tim, let's get to it. Right, we need to find the passcode to the stairs. All right, passcode to the stairs. Does this poster say anything? There, no, let's, let's look oh. over here. This document's full of information written in fine print. And look at the section heading. Sanjeev Dennis, Dennis's mansion, Pokemon inside the mansion. Looks like they did their homework before stealing the Aurora drop. Oh, this is Unitas' schedule for today. Bring in the Aurora drop, Major Meyer, Mayor Meyer's inspection, ship out the cubes. Oh, someone's wrote down the passcode to the stairs. Awesome. Now we can get down to floor B2. Yeah, the passcode is 7020. Okay, then let's head to the stairs as soon as we finish investigating this floor. Oh, let's see what these papers are from the management team to the research team to optimize research efficiency. Voice recorders for dictating notes will be distributed to all research personnel. 
Looks like the researchers here use voice recorders. Dictating notes sounds way more convenient than writing them out. I ought to try that for detective work. I think we're doing just fine with the regular written notes. But wouldn't it be handy if we could record witness statements? Uh, that actually does sound pretty helpful now that you mention it. All right, let's go. Seventy twenty is the. It even says it up there still. So we're going down the stairs. Mm-hmm. All right. I did not mean to do that. Okay. All right, Tim. It's unlocked. Yeah, now we can go to floor B two. We got a lot of floors to go through. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's head downstairs. This way, everyone. We got to be quiet, though. Wouldn't we just take the stairs, like, all the way down? I don't know. Maybe we'll, we want to be thorough. That area is dark. Hmm. <sighs> Well, we're finally on B2. It's a lot quieter than the floor above. It's like there's no one here at all. It's going to be an echo fest if we all go down these halls together. Yeah, it might be better if the rest of you wait here. Okay, be careful, Tim. Hey, check it out. There's a floor map. Oh, this floor is a little bit different. Huh. Looks like there's a big storage room on this floor. And on the other side of that storage room are the stairs leading down to the next floor. Weird. Yeesh, this is going to be a hike. Guess we better get going. Looks like we'll need another Pasco to access these stairs, too. Gotcha. Let's look for it on our way, then. All right. What's this? Hmm. What is this place? Hmm. These machines are probably used for research. Sure, but what's that rock? Don't know, let's take a look around. Oh, there's some papers here. Looks like they were written by someone in Unitas. Go ahead and read them then. They seem to be documents about the ruins. Many meteorites landed throughout the southern ruins in the past. Good to know. A significant number of these meteorites still remain buried in the immediate vicinity of the ruins. Sounds like looking around in here might help us figure out what Unitas is up to in the ruins. Probably. Let's investigate. Hmm. Okay, where should we start looking? Examine this. Hmm. There's a damage report and some photos of the facility's interior. According to this, the Berserk Pokemon caused a lot of structural damage during the R incident, and some other areas have heavily de have really deteriorated since then too. All right. Guess that's what happens to a place when you stop paying the maintenance bill. These papers look like lab results from an analysis of the meteorites. The meteorites found at the ruins are made of an incredibly hard material that cannot be crushed or scratched. It is unlike any metal heretofore discovered on this planet. Wow, they're really that hard? Guess so. What were they brought here for? I don't know. What's going on over here? This looks important. Oh. Hmm. Do you think this rock could be one of the meteorites we read about? Sure seems like it. They must have used this equipment to analyze it. Ooh, what else are we looking for? If you have questions about anything you see here, just ask me. Getting help from others is nothing to be embarrassed about. I just was, it just said to examine. I just was going to give you an, a health exam or whatever. That guy says, mm. this paper's got some names with, with short comments under them. Successfully completed mission at the ruins exceeds expectations. Seems like a performance review for the Unitas member we saw at the ruins. All right. What is the question? Are we done? Uh, what else? Anything else to look at? What the heck? Am I missing anything? There's, uh... I feel like... Oh, what is this? Oh! Let's look at that, then. 
Looks like this file contains lab results from an analysis of the meteorites. The meteorites found at the southern ruins are not only exceedingly hard, but also contain incredibly pure energy. These, Those exhibiting an energy content of 87% or higher are to be delivered to the lowest floor for use. The meteorites discovered in Mewtwo's cave are low in energy and cannot be used. So this meteorite contains energy. I guess it's more than just a normal rock. Great. Hmm. Looks like there's nothing else to investigate here. Great, then I get to deduce something, right? Probably. Hey. Uh, let's see. Let's piece together the evidence. Hmm. And we'll see what we can deduce out of all of this. Hmm. To survey the ruins, to collect materials, to collect an energy source. Okay. Do you suppose they could have gone there to look for an energy source? We read that the meteorites with high concentrations of energy were delivered downstairs for use. Yeah, and the reference doc says a lot of meteorites could be found around the ruins. Right, so I think Unitas was at the ruins to collect meteorites so they could use it as an energy source. All right, but what were they planning to do? I don't know. We'll find out eventually. We need a passcode, really, is what we need to move on to the next area. All right, let's keep moving. Oh! Bunch of papers. Here's a message from the research team to the operations team, and the, these papers are from the management team to the operations team. They're all addressed to the same team, which means whoever, whoever's desk this is must be on the operations team. I'm curious what this team's been up to. Oh, we're gonna need help. That looks like a dead end. We're gonna need to push, I think. Pangoro, help. Are there any other like things? Did I not see any other like passwords or anything like that? I don't think so. Pangoro, help me out. All right, yes, we need your help, please. So we'll figure this out, I think, pretty easily. I don't think there are any issues where it'll just be impossible. There we go. And this one's gonna go all the way in the corner, most likely. This one's gonna get over here. Then I think that Yeah, they didn't make this too hard, so that was good. So there we go. Hmm. Nice, now there's a clear way through. Much obliged, Pangoro. There should be another big room pass here. Let's go get Tim and the others. Mm-hmm. Alright, nice. Pangoro cleared the way for us. Just a little further down the stairs. There's another map over there. Let's take a look. Looks like there's another storage room past here. If we can just get through that, we'll be at the stairs. We still need the passcode, though. I think I've got a lead on that. Check the paper next to the map. Oh, the stairs passcode can be found in the standby room. Please return all controllers to the standby room. How's that for handy? Guess our next stop's in the standby room. And lucky for us, it's on the other side of this next storage room. But what do you think the controllers are? I'm not sure, but I am sure we're not going to find the answer just standing here. Let's head for the standby room. Mm -hmm. We should be coming up to the stairs soon. Wait, Tim, there's something over there. Ooh, Dusk Noir. Interesting. And he's got a control thing. Oh. A Dusk, a, a dusk Noir. The cube on it must be forcing it to keep watch. We should give it a wide berth. But the poor thing's being controlled. Isn't there anything we can do to help? That notice we saw said something about controllers, right? Hmm, yeah, I might have been talking about cube controllers. That notice said they're in the standby room, so we can rescue Dust Noir once we reach the standby room. I think so, yeah. And we're headed there anyway to get the passcode to the stairs. Right, let's head for the standby room. Then, without being spotted by Dusk Noir.
Sounds like a plan. Gonna have a long way to go, though. Where's he going, you think? You think he's coming down here? Not yet. Oh, he might be turning around. This guy's on patrol a little bit better than... Depends on which way he ends up going as to how we slip past him or not, you know? Go forward. We made it. Okay, we made it. We should be safe here for now. Yeah, now let's hurry up and find the passcode and controller. All right, we're just gonna look over here. Oh, it's a cube controller. Nice. We can use it to make Dust Noir stop patrolling. Yeah. Oh, the passcode's written right down right here. 2806. Now we can finally use the stairs. Great. That was easy. Ooh. No. He's free. Noir. Thanks for stopping that weird feeling. No worries, pal. We gotcha. Hey. Got any special skills? Huh, what was that? Something about souls? Uh, I think we're better off not asking Dust Noir to elaborate. Why are you here? You really don't know, huh? One day you were just suddenly here? The cube must have messed up its memory. I feel so bad for it. Sounds like Unitas has been controlling Dust Noir for a really long time. It's been forced to patrol this area for itself for ages. That must have been so lonely. All right, good to know. And then uh, we can use the stairs thanks to the passcode 2806. Tim, over here. What is it? You okay? I'm glad you came to your senses. Since you're not attacking me, you must be back to normal, right? Oh, it's a terminal where we input the passcode. Go ahead and enter that passcode we found, 2806, right? Okay. All right, B3 will be next. Hmm. And uh, then four, then five. I mean, how far is it? This is taking forever. All right, we made it to B3. Another floor closer to the one the mayor is supposed to visit. We need to be more careful than ever. Right, our first order of business should be figuring out how we're gonna get downstairs. If you need a floor map, there's one right here, of course. All right, I see the stairs to B4 at the end of this hallway. Storage room past the stairs too. What, what do you suppose these detainment rooms in the center are? Reminds me of the rooms of the police station. If they are the same as the rooms of the station, there must be Pokemon being held there. I just hope there aren't any more Pokemon that are enduring what Wooper went through. I'm definitely curious about those detainment rooms, but we should check out the stairs first. We shouldn't wander around and risk getting caught by Unitas. Right, stairs first. Let's go. I bet you anything, if we go look at the stairs, it's going to be an issue where we need to code again. Uh-oh. I think we're better off not opening this door. Yeah, maybe yeah. so. Huh? Pikachu. Where in the world is that cramorant? I swear it ran off this way. Why did he even swallow the controller in the first place? We can't stop that x drill without it. It'd be more efficient if we split up and searched. Good idea. I'll keep looking here while you check downstairs. 
Okay, I'll change the passcode to the stairs just in case. No, no. It's gonna be a pain in the neck coming and going without card keys. Ah, stop complaining. Come on, Houndoom. Mm-hmm. Sounds like the Pokemon going berserk in that room is an, is an Excadrill. Yeah, and they can't stop it because Cramorant swallowed their controller. But we've got our own problem to deal with right now. It sounds like the Unitas stooge who stayed on this floor doesn't have a, a card key to the elevator. And the other one said she was going to change the passcode to the stairs. Are we stuck here then? How do we get downstairs? Don't give up now, Tim. For all we know, there's an extra card key in that room. Maybe we've got to stop that Excadrill first before we can sleuth around in there. This means we need to find the Cramorant and get it to spit up the controller. Going by that map we saw, there should be another room up ahead. Let's start by checking there. Hey. This looks like a storage room. It seems like the only place that Cramorant could have escaped to. Hey, Cramorant, where'd you go? Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh man, it's someone from Unitas. It's too dangerous to go any further. We don't know what we're walking into. Let's go back and join the others for a minute. I see, thanks for catching us up. The passcode to the stairway has been changed, but getting a key card to the elevator is gonna be tricky. All right, yes. If we wanna find a way to get downstairs, the only option left is to search the detainment rooms. And to do that, we gotta stop Excadrill. Our only hope is to find Cramorant before Unitas does and get the controller. If we can do that, we'll be able to search inside those rooms. We'll be able to help Excadrill too. The question is, how do we find Cramorant without getting caught by Unitas? If Cramorant's hiding, it might be hard for just the two of us to find it on our own. I appreciate the enthusiasm, Growlithe, but we gotta emphasize stealth on this one, which means the Pokemon we should be asking is, think you can help us out again, Luxray? Guess so. Look for Cramorant. Whoa, Exodrill's still on a rampage. I'll take a look in the room. There it goes. Exca. Exca. The rampaging Exodrill has a cube shaped device attached to its back. It appears to be the same as the ones they put on us at the police station. So that's what's going on. Poor Exodrill, I feel for you, buddy. Are you saying the humans are forcing Exodrill to act this way? No, Cramorant swallowed the controller, so at this point, Exodrill's completely out of control. That truly is a frightening device. I wonder if it'll settle down if we can get the cube off its back. Maybe we should keep our distance, actually. For now, let's go look for Cramorant. All right, Cramorant. Huh? There it is. is that Hey, wait! Why are you flying away? Who I found knows? the Cramorant! No, oh, no. That's why. Unitas is after him. Unitas. Hey! I will chase the Cramorant, I will, but there's also a human in the storeroom. We better keep an eye on that person's movement so we can maneuver around him. Lucky for us, Cramorant seems to have scattered. Okay, so what are we doing? Just watch. I'll follow the trail of feathers. Without being noticed by the human. So it looks like it went that way. We just need this guy to walk further. If we can slip by him, maybe. Come on, go to the right. What are you doing? I mean, it has to. He has to go to the right. Where the heck is he? So he's all the way over here now. We just want to make sure it doesn't pop over this way. All right, we're good. We're good. Oh, there he is. I see Kramer in a box. This box right here. Quick.
Hey, Cramorant, you're in there, yeah? <laughs> so noisy. Hey, wait, calm down. <laughs> yeah, we know each other. That's right. I saw you gulp down the Aurora drop, remember? No. Yeah, Poor guy. That's because you were being controlled. So anyway, tell me why you're being chased. So he ran away. Huh? What did you swallow? <laughs> There's a controller. Oh, seriously? Look at that. The controller. Yes, turn it Don't off. You worry. I swear I'll get you out of this place. <laughs> All hey. right. Now that we found the Kramer, let's head back to Tim. Right, and that device, it's a cube controller. We can use it to stop Excadrill. Good, it pains me to see Pokemon being controlled. Hey, so how are we like going to get out of here? Just stick with us, Cramorant. We'll keep you away from Unitas. Well, you're going to like escort me out of this building? Thanks, dude. Aren't we trying to get to B5 Pikachu? I'm not sure Cramorant understands that. Uh, we'll figure something out. <laughs> Tim, look, we found Cramorant. Great, what about the controller? Got that too. Now we can stop Excadrill. True to great detective form, Pikachu. You did a great job too, Luxray. Excadrill's in the room just up ahead. We can't get close right now because it's going berserk, but we should calm it down. But it should calm down if we use the controller to deactivate the cube. Why is the controller sticky? Uh, actually, I don't want to know. That part here, the, this part right here is a switch, right? I'll try to get close to the, the room Excadrill's in, then I'll press the switch to turn off the cube. Thanks, Tim. Once that's done, we need to search for a way to get down to the next floor. Exodrill's on the other side of this door. You got the controller ready, Tim? Yep. Okay, let's open the door. There we go. Hurry up, Tim. It's coming right at us. Oh, stop it. Stop I'm it. I'm working on it. Stop. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Okay, good, good. It looks like Extra Drill settled down. Now you're free, Extra Drill. Think we can ask it some questions? All right, tell me about yourself. Extra Drill are good at digging holes, right? Good to know. What else? It seems pretty proud of that. Drill, drill. It says it forms a single drill with its arms and head. Drilling's its specialty. Doesn't it get dizzy when it drills? I'm wondering about that too. Hey, extra drill, do you ever get dizzy? Oof, it just said, don't be ridiculous. I guess spinning just comes naturally to it. Hey. I didn't mean to hit that. Okay, oh my gosh. Didn't mean to hit that one again. All right, why are you here? Hey. By the way, Excadrill, what are you doing in this place? I see, just like Dust Noir. So someone brought it here against his will and used a cube to force it to watch, to keep watch, whatever. Uh, apparently it tried to escape by drilling a hole in the wall, but it didn't go as planned. The cube on its back probably stopped it from moving freely. Training Pokemon like this is just too cruel. What have the humans here been like? Uh, more mistreatment of Pokemon, huh? Uh, there are more captured Pokemon right here in these rooms. We can't just leave them like this. Yeah, let's set them free. Mm -hmm. So we were right about the detainment rooms. They're for holding Pokemon captive. Wait, detainment rooms? Yeesh, you'd think we were back in the police station. Sa same scummy names and everything. We've got to figure out a way to rescue the Pokemon here. Yeah, if we search the room, we'll probably come up with something. We needed to investigate this room anyway. Yeah, we still need to find a card key. Right, okay, let's get this investigation started, Tim. All right, we gotta investigate this room. I will BRB. 
All right, I'm back. Uh, let's. What are we gonna investigate? Lots of computers here. Oh yeah, who's that? No good. This door is locked. We can't free the Pokemon stuck in there until we find a key. All right, let's look at, look for the key then. Is that Corviknight? He deserves to be in there. It's a list of rules for Unitas patrol guards. Guards are the patrols floor B3 in groups of two. The sliding doors to the Pokemon detainment rooms must be locked at all times. Each pair of guards will keep a single key card for the elevator. When a pair of guards is relieved, they are to pass a key card onto the next shift of guards. The pass code to the stairs must be changed at the beginning of each shift. The security here is tighter than it was in the last couple of floors. Sounds like the guards on patrol now are the only people who know the pass code to the stairs. Doubt they'll share it with us willingly either, no matter how nicely we ask. Mm-hmm. Here's a note from the operations team. Uh, the detainment rooms on floor B3 were intended to hold the Pokemon sent to us by Mr. Butler. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, these Pokemon will not be joining us. As a result, the detainment rooms on floor B3 are currently housing Pokemon that were not part of our original plan. Butler, huh? Must be talking about what happened back at the police station. There's a list here with dozens of Pokemon on it. Hmm, looks like a list of all the Pokemon in the facility. Hmm, some of these names are crossed out. Luxray, Lipard, Impidim, Sableye, Pangoro. Those Pokemon were at the police station with me, so they were going to be he sent here too. True. There are other names too. Excadrill, Hariyama, Corviknight, Poliwrath, Wooper. They're here. They're not crossed out, so they must have already been sent here. After that, there's some stuff about the cubes. The specs of the controller utilized by Mr. Butler are highly confidential. In the interest of maintaining this confidentiality, we destroy the controller remotely to ensure the police were only able to collect the broken remains. I see, so that's why the controller broke the way it did. They wanted to keep the police in the dark. If there was any doubt of Unitas' involvement before, this is pretty much proves it. Yeah, but I still want to know more. Let's take a closer look. Let me see. Well, there's a key right there. Right there. Hmm. Some sort of key could help us get into a locked room. That's how keys work. Hmm. It's some internal orders with Unitas. There's water leaking from 4B3. Mr. Murloc keeps his valuable research data on 4B4. It's imperative that this leak be repaired as quickly as possible. I'm sure there's some more useful information. All right, and then, uh, is that it? Uh, the green book. This looks like a business report written by someone in Unitas. Mass production of the cubes has been completed without incident. Our CEO, Mr. Howard Myers, is scheduled to arrive on the last day of Pokemon Friendship Week for a final inspection. The cubes are ready to be shipped pending the completion of this final inspection. Mr. Myers is their CEO. CEO means Chief Executive Officer, right? As in the one who's calling all the shots? You're telling me he's the head honcho of this entire organization? Pa Papa's the one running Unitas? That can't possibly be true. Of all the things we could have learned about Howard, this is the worst possible one. There's, I can think of some worse ones. He could, he's also a, a pedophile. No, here's an e experiment report about the cubes. Let's see. What does, it, what does that say? It's got a list of Pokemon that the cubes were tested on. Luxray, Lipart, Impidim, Sableye, Pangoro. Those are some of the Pokemon that were being detained at the police station. The list goes on. Yeah, we know they're here. Same ones that are here. Uh, they must, they're must. they still planning to collect even more Pokemon. Well. Yeah, we found a ton of good info to make deductions. Like what Rachel's dad's mm. been up to. I, didn't, I sure didn't expect to learn that Howard's in charge of all of Unitas. What exactly is he planning to do with this organization? I think I've got an idea. Howard's been pursuing policies related to managing Pokemon, right? He must intend to use the cubes for that. Yep, there's really no other explanation. I didn't want to believe it, but... <sighs> Papa, why are you part of this? Rachel. <sighs> Must have been a shock to find out her dear old dad is the head of Unitas. Yeah, I'm honestly not sure what to say to her. She probably just needs some space to think, Tim. I'm sure she'll recover from the shock in her own time. Let's focus on something else for now. Yeah, I almost forgot after the whole Howard reveal, but there's something else that's bothering me. That paper we read earlier mentioned Butler. Maybe we should focus on that. Butler. <sighs> Butler was mainly capturing Pokemon, wasn't he? Right, but why did Yudatoss want him to do that? Well, so they could do experiments or something, or... I don't know, let's find out. Hmm. Uh, yeah, they want it to distribute the cubes to, to assess subjects for the cubes. To, yeah. Okay. 
All right, so they wanted test subjects for the cubes. We're getting this flow chart done. Uh, what else? Are there any Pokemon left that we haven't talked to yet? Let's see what they have to say. There might be a clue somewhere that'll help us find a way downstairs. Let's be as thorough as we can with this set of rooms. Check the detainment rooms. Isn't this... How do I check them? Are these? Uh, it looks like it worked. So that physical key opens this. Let's talk to this Hariyama guy. Hurry, hurry. Packs a straight arm wallop. Wow, Hariyama sure looks riled up. No way, Hariyama. Don't even think about it. Huh? What did it say? It's been searching for a sumo opponent. Huh? Yeah, I don't know if you're really suited for sumo, but we don't really have time to find out either. Sorry, Hariyama. I'm sure you'll find an opponent eventually. It says it loves testing his strength by sumo wrestling. All right, great. Yeah, if something happened to Darmanitan at this point, we'd be in real trouble. Sorry, Hariyama. I guess you win this round by default. Why are you here? So you were brought here against your will, too. I know that happened to a lot of Pokemon here, but I'm surprised they're able to subdue Hariyama. You're assuming Unitas played fair. Apparently, they grabbed it while I was in the middle of a standoff with Poliwrath. I see. I remember that. Was that the one I remember? I don't know. It's been stomping on the floor every day as part of its training, but at some point, the floor started cracking. Believe it or not, Hariyama, I'm pretty sure those cracks are all you. Wow, it's really strong. All right, let's check the other rooms. I know that we have uh, this Corviknight in here. And then this is the Polyrath that was fighting. The other thing was fighting, right? Was it that on the floor? No. Hey, aren't you the Corviknight that stole my hat? You don't remember, but probably. Hey, no apology necessary. I know it wasn't your fault, but you were probably being controlled by one of those cubes. Can you tell me a bit about that? You're such a good flyer that nothing in the sky can scare you. Yeah, you're pretty terrifying when you're flying at someone head-on. Trust me, I'm speaking from experience. Oh, uh, I guess that's kind of a sore subject. I'm not really blaming you for anything. Sorry I keep bringing it up. Hey. Do you remember how they managed to bring you here? I see you went to sleep one day, and when you woke up, you were in a place you didn't recognize. And that's when they started controlling you with the cube. I'm serious, Corvin. And I, you didn't do anything wrong. Don't beat yourself up. Yeah, we're going to show the world who's really at fault for all this. And there's a Polyrath. It's a Polyrath. It doesn't look like it's being controlled right now. Hey, Polyrath, why are you in here? It was kidnapped out of blue and brought here. It really just wants to go back to its pond. Don't worry, we'll make sure you get home. Just sit tight for a bit, okay? Let's see what Polyrath has to say. We might learn something useful. Rah! Un unbeatable swimmer, huh? You sound pretty confident of that. Too bad it's got nowhere to swim here. No kidding, it's got to be pretty stressed. Oh, whoa, whoa, why is it swinging its arms around like that? Oh, it's just showing us its favorite swimming stroke. I know, bud. You can't wait to get back in the water. Hey. How did you get here? You and Hariyama were flexing on each other when some human suddenly grabbed you? That must have been the PPB. Now that you mentioned, I'm pretty sure I've seen Polyrath and Hariyama fighting in the city before. I do remember that. It looks pretty mad about something. It's upset because they don't give it enough water here. Just like with Wooper, those poor Pokemon. All right, so we checked the rooms. Now there was a, a crack over here. Do we need to investigate this? Looks like the floor has been weakened here. That's the way down, I suppose. Oh, I can just barely see the floor below through these cracks. If we had to have Darmanitan use his strength to widen these cracks, we might be able to get down there and risk the whole floor caving in? I don't think so. Fair point. Darmanitan doesn't exactly have a light touch. Still, I think it's a good idea to ask a Pokemon for help here. I don't think there's anything else for us to investigate. And we didn't find a passcode or key card. We'll never get downstairs at this rate. We have to think of another way. We're going to go through the hole. That one's big enough. That's the... Oh yeah, but it, we, we, that, it's got to be big enough. Hmm. All right. Ask him to smash... Who's this? What's this guy do? Drilled... Yeah, maybe he could drill through. You think so? Okay. There we go. Extra drill could drill through. That's a good idea. Let's ask him. I don't know if... He, will he, I'm sure he'll be up to it, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's ask him right now. It says it's the least it can do. I'm so glad it'll help. 
Hey, Cramorant, give the controller back. Did you hear that voice? It's one of those Unitas grunts. They probably come in here too. We better hurry. Think you can start digging right away, Excadrill? I'll go get everyone else. Thanks, Tim. Get us down there. Let's go. Thank you. We should take that thing off its back. Yeah. Wow, you dug that hole in no time. We really appreciate it, Exodrill. Thanks to you, we can finally get down to B4. What about Exodrill and the others, though? Oh yeah, good point. Exodrill, you should get out of here. Just keep heading up. With your skills, I'm sure you'll be able to escape this place. And sorry to stack and sorry to stack on the favors, but please take the other Pokemon with you. Oh, and would you find Wooper, Dust Noir, and any others in the upper floors too? He's gonna do everything. Yeah, you go with Exodrill to Cram to Cramorant, and don't let Unitas catch you this time. All right, they're out of here. Thanks. We meet again someday. Are you good to go down, Rachel? Yes, I've come this way this far. I need to stop Papa. Whatever it takes. Just don't push yourself too hard. Thanks, Tim. All right, then. Let's get a move on. Let's go. <laughs> they, are, they are talkative ones. All right, now we're in before. Okay. Did everyone make it down safely? I don't see anyone from Unitas here now. They must have all gone down to the bottom floor, B5. Oh look, it's a floor map. Let's check it out. A couple places locked off. Okay, so the door on the right leads down a hallway to some stairs, and the door on the left leads to some storage rooms in the elevator. But it looks like we can't pass through the storage rooms. It says they're packed full of crates. Then I guess we gotta use the stairs to get down to B5, which means we just need to open that door on the right. But it says that we need a key card to open the doors on all this floor. The key card instead of the passcode, the security on this floor is the tightest yet. Yeah, it won't be easy, but we gotta find that card key. Now that I get a better look around, there are sure a lot of desks on this floor. According to the map we saw on B1, this floor is used by the research team. Oh yeah, it said that on the orders we saw earlier too. They said that Murloc's research data was stored on this floor. I guess that room in the middle is Murloc's personal research lab. We might be able to learn more about Unitas' research if we have a look around. True. Are you okay, Rachel? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's just knowing we might run into Papa soon is making me nervous. He's been leading Unitas this whole time, and they're the ones conducting research for those cubes. What can I even say to him? What would help him understand? This must be really tough for Rachel. I'm not sure exactly what you should say to your dad. But I do think you should be honest with him about how you feel. That's what's most important. Yeah, you could be right. Thanks, Tim. They said they're going to go over there and keep watch. Thanks, that's a big help. Uh-oh. What's you happening? Felt it again? He's drifting yeah. away. Uh, and it's stronger than before. But... Pikachu's consciousness feels like it's getting weaker. Getting weaker? Hang on. You mean Pikachu could disappear entirely like Mewtwo said? That's right. Now that I got my memories back, I'm basically hairy in everything but appearance. And the clearer my own consciousness becomes, the more Pikachu fades away. This is bad. We can't just let Pikachu disappear. We've got to get your body back fast for both your sakes. You got that right. What's this? What is it? There's something stuck in my foot. Let's see. Looks like some orders addressed to the operations team. Proceed immediately to Jessica Miller's location. Finds here at the pizzeria in Bamboo Burrow. Captured the sleeping man discovered in Mewtwo's cave. So the guy who attacked Jessica got his orders from there. But what's this about a sleeping man? Oh, I'm pretty sure they're talking about my body. Hey, Pikachu, you think Dad's body is close? Yeah, the feeling's stronger here than on any of the other floors so far. So it might be down on the lowest floor, B5. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Anyway, let's keep investigating. Sounds like a plan. This must be a researcher's desk. Notebooks, memos, sorry, whoever you are, but I'm about to look through all your stuff. This looks like a diary. I can't make heads or tails of any scientific jargon, though. Wait, look at this entry from last year. I received word from Mayor Myers that work has resumed at the Pokemon Unity Lab. They'll be continuing Emma's research on mutual understanding between humans and Pokemon, both through speech and direct sharing of consciousness. If this is successfully achieved, Rhyme City will become an even safer and more pleasant place to live. The new organization takes its name from Emma's final project, Unitas. I decided to join Unitas myself. This research will benefit countless people. As a researcher, I expect this to be very fulfilling work. 
So Papa's the one who named this organization Unitas. This researcher seems really proud to be part of it. How can they find this work fulfilling when they're making Pokemon suffer? There's gotta be a side of the story we're not seeing. <clears throat> What's this document? Let me see. Whoa, look at the title. Investigation report of the sleeping man found in Mewtwo's cave. What, there's a report about my body? What does it say? I'll read it out. After bringing the sleeping man back to the lab, we applied electric shocks and other external stimuli in an attempt to wake him, but to no avail. Based on his condition, we believe the subject has been asleep for quite some time. An electrocardiogram and various blood tests all return results that were the expected range for an adult human male. The only anom anomaly we've observed in the subject is his brain waves, which occasionally exhibit irregular behavior. However, these irregularities are not significant enough to warrant any great concern and do not seem to be negatively affecting his body. Though the sleeping man has not consumed any food while under our observation, his muscle mass shows no signs of atrophy. Our working hypothesis is that the energy within his body is maintaining his current condition. I guess that means your dad's just sleeping and he's still totally healthy? That's gotta be thanks to Mewtwo. Honestly, I'm just happy to hear I'm still alive. And no worse for wear either, which is a huge relief. Plus, now we have confirmation that your body's here in this lab. I guess that feeling I had was right on the money. Yeah, all that's left is to find that body of yours. Look at this management team posted some orders for the operations team. Go ahead and read them. Location, Bamboo Burrow. Target, Jessica Miller. Objective, retrieve the thumb drive. This is about what happened in Bamboo Burrow. It is imperative that the thumb drive is secured. This is a direct order from our CTO. Tim, what is that? Why did you stop reading? It says here, Unitas CTO is Mr. Murloc. What? That guy is the chief technology officer? How's that a surprise? So the mayor's the CEO and Murloc's the CTO. Papa and Murloc lead this organization together, but why? There's a map of Bamboo Burrow attached to this document. Right? All right. They really put a lot of preparation into that attack on Jessica. Mm. Seems like Jessica was an important target for Unitas. Yeah, especially considering the order came directly from Murloc, the CTO. I wonder why they were after her, though. The thumb drive, obviously. Hmm. They wanted the thumb drive. Hmm. <laughs> the thumb drive's not even there. Oh, what's up? Yes. Sorry about earlier. I thought I was more prepared for all this. Are you feeling a bit better now? Yeah, thanks to you. Let's find Papa and talk to him. B5. Got it. Uh, we got it. We understand. All right, let's look at this desk. Mm -hmm. Bunch of tools on this desk. Hmm. The toolbox, screwdrivers, oil can, other tools, blowtorch. Mm -hmm. Here's a ticket submitted to the management team. Looks like it's from the research team. Issue is CTO's lab door. Key card keys are recognized, but the door will not open or close. Upon inspection, it appears that some of the door's gears are broken. We have removed the broken gears and requested urgent assistance. The lab door's not working. That's the one at the center of the floor, right? Yeah, it sounds like the new parts haven't come in yet. Mm -hmm. Here's some instructions to the research team from the CTO. That's, yeah, looks like it was written in a hurry. The control cubes currently in operation are effective on nearly all Pokemon. However, they're not completely effective on rock-type Pokemon. The cubes must be updated to address this flaw. This would be a simple task were I to handle it myself, but I have other more pressing work to attend to. The research team should consider this its most critical mission. Prioritize refining the effectiveness of the control cubes at all costs, even if it increases the strain the cubes inflict on Pokemon's bodies. That Unitas guy in Bamboo Burrow was controlling a rock-type Pokemon, no problem, though. They must have upgraded the cubes. I can't believe they were using Pokemon like tools, all while knowingly making them suffer. Took the words right out of my mouth. All right, one more desk. Mm. From the research team, obtain the data from Jessica Miller. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, this is the same thing. No, I keep clicking, I don't mean to, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Gosh, why do I, how do I stop from clicking this over and over? All right, come on, what's over here? We need a card key. this wait isn't this hmm there's a bunch of gears here but there's also an open space in the middle it seems to be missing some gears guess it's undergoing maintenance hmm. this door won't budge 
No point in brooding about it here. Let's look around somewhere else. Oh, more deaths. Jeez Louise. All right, let's try to just sail through these really quick. Papers, diagrams, brain waves, cube experiments, irregular fluctuations. How could Papa allow this? All right, what's this one all about? Oh, voice recorder. And there's a recording on it. Let's hear it. I want to try the voice recorder they gave me. They're supposed to be for keeping research notes. Do you really think recording casual conversations like this is okay? Why not? It's like anyone else is gonna. It's not like anyone else is gonna listen to this. By the way, remember when Mr. Meyer stopped by recently? Hadn't seen him around for a while. I think he had a meeting with Mr. Murlock. I'd love to know what they were discussing. Oh yeah, well lucky for you, I sat in on that meeting to keep minutes. I heard what Mr. Myers had to say, you know, and there was something off about it. How so? Mr. Murlock made the cubes, you know, so the mayor is putting his complete trust in him now. Isn't that good? I guess, but I don't know. It's the way Mr. Myers said it. He was like, we need the cubes so a disaster like the R incident can never happen again. He was seriously worked up, practically shouting, in fact, which I guess is understandable considering he lost his wife, Emma, in the R incident. Yeah, I never met her, but I heard she was truly a gifted researcher. Same, plus the mayor's got a daughter. He's just trying to keep her safe and make sure what happened to Emma doesn't happen to her, too. He literally said, I will do anything to protect my daughter. Family man, huh? Respect. Sure, but even so, the intense look on his face, you should have seen it. I mean, he, I was legitimately terrified of him. Papa, he sounds like a good father, but all this stuff with the cubes is misguided. How are you doing, Rachel? I know this must be hard. Uh, I'm fine. I just need to talk to my dad face to face. And then over here. Uh, uh oh. Did you hear something just now, Tim? I did. Never mind. I heard it. I don't see Dad's body or Mayor Myers around here. Sam, I want to investigate this room in the back, but this door isn't working. What should we do? I heard it. I heard it. I heard it too. It came from the half a simple computer. All right. Wait, wait. Where's the half a simple computer? Wait, which one's the half assembled computer? Hmm. Where's the half assembled computer? Bye. There's some kind of Pokemon inside the computer. It says it found the perfect little gap to wedge itself into and take a nap. Sounds pretty relaxed. A surprising number of Pokemon seem to prefer tight spaces. It's wondering if its partner has returned yet. Who's its partner? A researcher here. Apparently, they must have gone to a different floor to do some work. This Pokemon says it's been napping while it waits for its partner to return. Sorry, buddy. Your partner's not back yet. Why don't you go look for them, then? Oh, I get it. You're stuck. I think so. It doesn't sound like it's in any pain. It sounds sad, though. We can't just leave it like this. I guess we might as well help, since we're here and all. Uh, so, just how do we get it out? Some sort of tool to get it out? One of the, one of the desks does have a tool on it. Is it... Is this a toolbox over here? Hmm. Oh, I thought, no. The toolbox maybe was over here? Yeah, there it is. I see. All right. Then we'll rescue that little Pokemon stuck in the computer. What? And let's get it out. Screwdriver, the blow torch it. No luck, it's really stuck in there. Oil can to lube it up. All right, I think it's slithered, slithered out of there. Oh, we need those. Perfect, we need those for the door. There was a clink inside. Thanks for getting us out of there. Forget about it, it was nothing. Anyway, sorry to jump right in, but mind if we ask a few questions? All right, yeah, I could tell you like small enclosed spaces. That's why it was sleeping in the computer in the first place. Apparently this wasn't a one-off thing. Clink gets itself stuck all the time. Much to its partner's annoyance, it seems. Guess it hasn't learned its lesson. So here we go. Uh, I, know, I know what we're gonna use for the, you know, Let's see, your partner doesn't seem happy since you two came here. Is uh, the partner's concerned about something, the cubes? The partner might not be a bad person, hey. about the key card. Uh, the partner is always carrying a tool that it can open the doors. All right, so we gotta get one of those, but I just know that we need him. Hey Tim, is it me or does the shape of this clink look familiar? 
That panel by the middle door, maybe. Yep, exactly. Let's head over there. Right there. Hmm. Clink's the perfect size. Excellent. Here, he, Wait here a sec. I'll go get Clink. So anyway, I think you can help us out, Clink. You're up for the job, then. Thanks. Okay, Clink. Do your thing. Here we go. Yeah. We're in. <laughs> All right, it worked. Thanks, Clink. Now we can get inside. Oh, you're going to go find your partner. All right, but you don't know where your partner is. Try upstairs. All right, let me let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. No, you're the one who have to see you later, Clink. So let's go in. I hope Clink finds his partner. Yeah, me too. Okay, now we've got to investigate that room. I hope we can figure out what Murloc was researching. Yeah, let's go inside. All right. Murloc's lab. Now, this is going to be a lot of investigation, probably. Goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. This is cluttered. There's a lot of stuff in here. Where do we even start? No kidding. I don't know how we're going to investigate all this. There's bound to be really important info about Unitas in here. Yeah, I hope we can find a key card, too. So, let's just kind of go in order. These look like experiment reports. Yeesh, I can barely read the handwriting, and there are sticky notes stuck all over the place. Maybe we can just read the most important points. Mm -hmm. I need a more effective method of extracting energy from the meteorites. A tremendous amount of high-purity energy is required to activate the Aurora Drop. Huh, it's more research material on the meteorites. Based on my recent experiments, I was able to lay out a plan to achieve the final goal. All that remains is to order the operations team to collect a sufficient amount of meteorites. So those goons we ran into at the ruins were acting under Murloc's orders. But what's this final goal he's talking about? I can't tell from the document. Yeah, I've been wondering that myself. Mm -hmm. I conducted an experiment in which I exposed the Aurora Drop to energy from the meteorites. It was a success. The Aurora Drop showed clear signs of activation. However, only a fragment of the whole was activated. I must trigger the activation throughout the, the entirety of the Aurora Drop. Doing so will necess necessitate more experiments. He wants to activate the Aurora Drop. Guess it really isn't just an ordinary jewel. Hmm. The energy of the meteorites and the Aurora Drop. Apparently, he'll be able to activate the Aurora Drop if he keeps up his research on those two things. But the report doesn't say what that what that means. What'll happen when the Aurora Drop is activated? What exactly is Murloc trying to accomplish with this research? It's got to have something to do with that final goal he wrote about. There's another room back there. Wait, huh? What is it? You see something? Are those photos of Dad and Pikachu? What are those numbers? Are those important? Why is there a picture of you in there, Pikachu? I'm guessing it doesn't belong to an adoring fan. We'd better look into this. Indeed. Maybe Murloc wanted to keep it a secret because it wasn't on the map. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we saw numbers already. Well... I saw the numbers. That might be too long for a passcode, though. I mean, it shouldn't be, but it could be. Mm -hmm. Bunch of different information scribbled. All right, in order to promote the widespread use of cubes throughout the world, we must highlight the dangerous Pokemon posed to humans. News stories that reveal famous and popular Pokemon to actually be dangerous are especially effective. For example, Detective Pikachu. Well, that explains a lot. I am pretty famous in Rhyme City. If news got out that I destroyed the Slowpoke statue, people in the city would probably start feeling less safe. Right, which would lead more and more people to believe the cubes are necessary. Good thing we were able to prove your innocence before the story made the news. You're telling me. Still, now I wonder, is that the only reason they detained me? Mm -hmm. Alright, I have no concerns with using Butler. If anything goes wrong at the PPB, the responsibility will fall entirely on him. Butler, as in the former chief of the Pokemon Protection Bureau? So Butler was working with Murloc as well. Mm -hmm. There's some stuff written about you here, Pikachu. And judging by the handwriting, Murloc must have been pretty worked up when he wrote it. Project Detective Pikachu, Phase 1. Meet the specimen in person and measure its vitals. Project Detective Pikachu, Phase 2. Receive the specimen from the PPB. Phase 3. Extract the energy from the specimen. Receive the specimen. I guess they're referring to when the PPB was detaining me. Maybe they did something to me that when I was being controlled by the cube and had no idea what was going on. We managed to stop them from delivering you to Unitas, but Murloc's plan is still moving forward. Mm-hmm. 
All right. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. We'll deduce it all later. What's over here? <clears throat> Another voice recorder. Let's listen to the research arrangements. Report subject, research arrangements. I informed Howard that I would like to resume Emma's final research project. It focused on coexistence with Pokemon, the Unitas project. I also pointed out that conducting such research would require a proper facility. Naturally, I suggested we name this new facility the Unitas Lab. <laughs> Howard was rather taken with that name. He accepted my proposal immediately. And with that, all obstacles to my research have been removed. All right. <sighs> Murloc was the one who, suge who suggested to Mayor Myers to restart Emma's research. All right. Hey. Let's listen to the next one. Cue presentation. Let's hear it. Report subject. Cube presentation. I gave my presentation about the cubes to Howard today. He seemed concerned about the strain they may put on Pokemon. But in the end, he understood that some side effects here and there are simply unavoidable. Now we can continue development without looking over our shoulders. Once production is going smoothly, I plan to move on to the project I've kept on the back burner until now. Aww. Aww. Papa knew the side effects that Pokemon would face, but he still didn't stop the plan. No, but he was at least worried about them. If nothing else, that shows there's kindness in him. I don't know if that's the same can be said for Murloc. That recording painted a pretty clear picture of what kind of person he is. Hey. What recordings do you want to listen to? We're done listening <sighs> to recordings. I've had a bad feeling about Murloc from this moment we met him, but I didn't realize he was this terrible. The research hurts Pokemon, but he's pushing forward with such enthusiasm. We have to stop him somehow. Well, we searched the whole room, but we still haven't found the door passcode. What about the numbers on the whiteboard in the back room? They've, it's got to be worth a shot at least. Let's try them. Hmm. All right, 200, 122. Let's try one. That was the one. Perfect. All right, now we can take a look around the back room. This lab must be Murlocs as well. Yeah, probably, but what's going on in here? There's some high-tech equipment in here along with a photo of you, Pikachu. This room's got a totally different vibe from the others. It's a little cleaner. Let's take a good look around, though. All right, what do we got going on over here? I got a weird feeling. Let's give it a thorough search. Uh, let's just look right here. Shutting down the fusion machine. Fusion machine? What kind of machine is that? No idea. All it says is how to stop it. To shut down the machine in the event of an emergency, remove the power cable. That's it? That's all it says. Judging from the messy writing, whoever jotted this down must have been in a hurry. More of a memo than a document, if you ask me. This document was written by Mayor Myers. Coexistence plan for Rhyme City. It also says confidential. Looks like it contains a schedule for distributing the cubes throughout the city. All right, next. It seems the mayor will make an announcement about the cubes on the last day of Pokemon Friendship Week. Guess that settles it. That revolutionary device that's been making news lately is definitely the cubes. There's a draft of his speech here, too. I'll read it. Citizens of Rhyme City, allow me to once again express my plans for our mutual home. I aim to foster a city in which people and Pokemon can live together in peace and safety. For many of you, the R incident of two years ago was an unprecedented hardship. I assure you, no one knows the hardship better than I do. But Rhyme City will not stop moving forward. As a testament to our commitment to mutual coexistence between people and Pokemon, we have created a truly revolutionary device. And so, on this last day of Pokemon Friendship Week, it is my honor to finally unveil to you the Friendship Cube. Papa. By Friendship Cube, he means the control cubes, right? That's right, he's planning to distribute these cubes that can control Pokemon all over the city. We can't let him deliver that speech he's got planned. It's some kind of experiment report. Read it to us, Tim. 
The experiment was a failure. To make two become one, the proper balance of energy is absolutely critical. Too much or too little will result in failure. Making adjustments will be difficult, but necessary. But I can do this. I know I can do this. Only I can become two, or whatever, to become one. The proper balance of energy is absolutely critical. He literally underlined that part for emphasis. Uh, yeah, was it Petri dishes or something? Papers. All right, are we done exploring? Oh, there's a recording, I bet. Let's hear the voice recorder or read it, whichever one we have to do, I don't know. Hey. All right, let's listen. Let's hear him. Report subject, research data. Approximately six months prior to the R incident, I discovered a method of linking the minds of humans and Pokemon. Yikes. This would make it possible to control Pokemon as we please. Mm. I'm certain this is the greatest discovery of the century. But it was not possible at that stage of my research to make my hypothesis a reality. More information was required. Since then, I've searched relentlessly for the missing piece of the puzzle. Until at last, I found it in the research that Emma had previously conducted. She called my research dangerous, insisted that I stop. But that was no concern of mine. I took the first opportunity to scour the research facility, but by that point, Emma's data was nowhere to be found. Jessica did this. <laughs> I will stop at nothing to find Jessica and retrieve the data she took. All right. Exciting. What? He had Jessica targeted and Emma's data stolen all so he could work on his new research? That's so hey. awful. Which recording do you want to listen to next? Finding Jessica. Let's find her. Let's see what we got here. Report subject. Finding Jessica. I had not expected Pikachu and his allies to show up in Bamboo Borough. Nevertheless, we did manage to find Jessica and retrieve the research data. Now that the last piece of the puzzle is in my possession, my research is finally complete. With this data, I can conduct simulations of linking minds. Yikes. <laughs> I don't like that. Simulations to linking minds. Whatever Murloc's goal is, I don't hey. think it's good. How about proving my hypothesis? This guy is crazy and deranged. I love him. No. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, all right. Let's 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 see what he let's see what he is. Sorry, I was distracted by my phone. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to listen to him again. Report subject, proving my hypothesis. Oh, great. I did it. I finally did it. To become one, that is the answer. To become one. This is definitive proof that my hypothesis was correct. I wish I could have shown this to Emma and Jessica. <laughs> the cubes are nothing more than toys now. <laughs> Jeez Louise, dude. <sighs> All right, well. He's using my mom's research for his own ends. What's wrong with that man? I couldn't agree more. Murloc's trying to make something even worse than the cubes. Yeah, we've got to stop him. Hey. What recordings do you want to listen to? We're done listening to recordings. We listened to them all, and he did sound unhinged. He was getting awfully excited. Agreed. I didn't like how excited he was getting, so. Uh, according to him, the cubes are just toys compared to whatever he's got cooking now. I wonder if he, the mayor is even, is a, he was even aware of what Murloc is up to. I don't think he is. Let's make it take a moment to digest all this information and make some deductions. Okay, let's start deducing. Let's start deducing. Let's just deduce. I think we're happy to deduce. I don't know that we have to look into anything else right now. Let's just deduce. 
Uh, yeah, begin deducing. That sounds great. Hmm. All right. We, I think we found enough clues. They needed the research data that Jessica had. We know that. Okay. I, mean, I, I kind of deduced that earlier, in fact. So, what else? What, can we deduce something else? Are we done deducing? I mean, is there... There's a... We knew that much. There we go. Hmm. I don't think we've investigated any, everything in this lab. Okay, that's right. Let's look at this. Let's be done with the audio things. Equipment for experiments. Is that it? No clue. All right. What else is there? Oh, yeah. Let's look at the whiteboard. I totally forgot about this. This is definitely a picture of you, Pikachu. What the heck does all that mean? Uh, let's take a look and see if anything else is here. I see. Murloc is seriously starting to creep me out. Keeping pictures of me and Pikachu posted up in his room. What's up with that? Not to mention stealing Dad's body and keeping it somewhere in this building. The fact that he's got these photos of me or Harry and Pikachu right next to each other makes me wonder if Murloc's already figured it out. Figured out what out? That my consciousness is in Pikachu's body. I think they did it. I think he did it. No way. If not, then why is he targeting me so persistently? He probably caused it or something. I can barely read what's written here. Meteorite, Aurora Drop, Human. That's all I can make out. It seems like the energy from the meteorites is pretty important. Uh, well, we know the first one's a code. Uh, yeah, so is there something more about the numbers? Could be a passcode, can't say for sure. All right, let's say Murloc really has figured out your secret Pikachu. Just what was he planning to do with you after he captured you? Your guess is as good as mine. Let's head down to B5 and look for, my, I mean, Harry's body. Seeing it up close might help us figure this all out. Unitas, no, Murloc is willing to do whatever it takes to pursue his research. We gotta do something. Hey, got a moment? I guess. What is it? I think we should organize our findings so far. Yes. Yeah, let's lay it out. All right. Hmm. We have a lot of info to pick over, but this much is pretty clear. Three people are at the center of this mystery. Howard, Murloc, and Emma. Those three are closely connected with Unitas. Yeah, but they each had different goals. Let's think about uh, more about those three people. Hmm. Howard's trying to have cubes attached to the Pokemon of Rhyme City. After hearing that recording, I at least kind of understand where he's coming from. He wants to protect Rachel and make sure something like the R incident never happens again. He's got good intentions, but his methods are way off the mark. We just have to convince him of that somehow. Murloc's goal, nefarious. Hmm. Murloc is still on, still set on continuing his research no matter what. He even went so far as stealing Emma's research so he could advance his own. We don't know exactly what he's researching, but I think it's safe to assume it's nothing good. He said something about so simulations of, of uh, linking minds. I think the only way we're going to find out more about that is if we ask Murloc himself. Emma's ideals and research. The goal of Emma's research was mutual understanding between humans and Pokemon. She seemed to be trying to create a society where humans and Pokemon could perfectly coexist. She sounds like she had a good heart. But now Murloc's using Emma's research data. Right. Data that was so dangerous she tried to seal it away. The Unitas uh, we're seeing now is nothing like the Unitas project Emma was part of. Hmm. I think we've seen all there is to see on this floor. But we're not getting there without a key card to the next floor. Right. We didn't even find one. But there doesn't seem to be anywhere else to look. What should we do? For now, let's head out and join the others. Maybe we'll uncover something new. All right, leave the labs. Let's see what new is going to happen. Let me get out of here. These labs are... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is it? I heard someone talking up above. Why is there a hole here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, sweet! They dropped their card key. Part perfect. Okay. Wow, way to go, Growlithe and Panguro. Don't bust out the party hats yet. Someone from Unitas is bound to show up any second now. According to the floor map, there are stairs on the other side of the door on the right. We need to get a move on, Tim. Right. Let's go. We're running fast. Okay. All right, let's go. Wait, Tim, I hear something. Get back. Uh oh. Huh? What do you think you're doing here? Whoa! Run for it! Hey, wait! Stop! Which way are we going? <laughs> and we can just bust through this area. Uh oh, Pikachu's running so far behind. You should really ride on Growlithe or something. Why'd you stop? 
Bye bye. What you say? Oh, he's setting the fire alarm. What are you doing? <laughs> what? Pikachu, Growl is buying us some time. I'll come back for you, I swear! <laughs> All right, good job, Growlithe. This is bad. Well, we managed to get away from Unitas thanks to Growlithe. Unfortunately, we can't go any farther. All those crates are blocking the way. Then we're just going to force our way through. That's right. You're up, Darmanitan. All right, we're ready. Let's go. Force our way through. Let's go. Here we go. Yes. Who's next? Perfect. All right, keep going straight this way. Let's go. More crates, you think? No, no more crates. The door won't open. Okay, here we go. Let's let's break the door. Uh, oh, you can't break the door. We can probably force the door open if we run an electric current through the switchboard. I guess that's my cue. Here we go. Lux Ray is gonna do it. Yeah, because because you can't have moves. Oh no. They're coming. Yes. Let's Ray, thank you. Come on, let's go. Hey. Oh, he's gonna fight. He's gonna fight him up too. We're gonna lose one, one at a time. Pikachu! <laughs> nice. Hey! Well, here we go. Is this a fight? Do, uh, am I gonna control Luxray and fight? Maybe not. All right, great. I'm sorry, Lux Ray. Let's go. Yeah, we'll come back for you and Growlithe. Sure. Maybe we won't. Maybe we will. All right. Elevator time. Perfect. Okay, at this point, all that's left is to take the elevator down to the bottom floor. It's thanks to you that we made it this far, Darmanitan. We really appreciate it. No, thank you. It felt awesome getting to help out so much. I want to thank you, too, for giving me a chance to repay my debt to you. Hey, cut it out. You're acting like this is goodbye. We've still got the bottom floor to deal with, and for all we know, that'll be where things really get hairy. True. Okay, everyone, into the elevator we go. Let's go. Who's gonna stay behind this time? Oh no. You're not planning to stay behind too. Um, uh, we could use someone to to come with us though. We could need some muscle. Just, <laughs> how, about just, how about just one of you stay behind? Oh great. This dog must be a handful. Oof. You guys. <laughs> oh well. They're dead. <laughs> Just kidding. Pikachu. All right. We finally made it. Yeah. And that means it's possible Mayor Myers is just ahead. Hey, don't worry about me. Rachel. Murloc may have fooled my father, but we're about to prove what a crook he really is. That's right. Hey, hey. What about my body? <laughs> oh, don't you worry. We haven't forgotten. Oh, well. Okay, then. <laughs> and we'll also get the body. Oh, wow. 
Lab building B5, we're here. Hey, look! Yep. It's Dad! We finally found me! Can you not hear that? Wow. Well, we finally made it to the bottom floor. I just hope everyone back upstairs is still okay. They'll be all right. We've seen how capable they are of fending for themselves. For now, let's focus on getting through to your dad. Right. I hear someone up ahead. Someone's humming? Hey, look up there. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, it's Murloc. He's here. That probably means Howard's here, too. You know what to do, Tim. Yeah, I've got to convince the mayor to stop this plan they're working on. And to do that, we need to expose Murloc and prove what he's really up to. Sure, but at this point, Howard's likely dead set on seeing his vision through. Even if you blow Murloc's plot wide open, that might not be enough to convince Howard to change his mind. I know, but we've got to try. For Rachel and Howard, for the Pokemon of Rhyme City, and for you, both of you. Thanks, Tim. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Oh, Rachel, what's up, babe? Yes. It's, is Papa not here after all? No, I'm sure he's around. Let's ask Murloc. Okay, but be careful, Tim. Don't worry, Rachel. We can handle this. Here we go. He's just humming a sweet little tune. Bum, 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 bum. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Mr. Murloc. Oh my, would you look at this? What might you all be doing here? Ah, uh, yes, you must have been the cause of all that commotion earlier. That explains why my entire staff rushed upstairs, but the question of why you're here still stands. Did Howard invite you to join him for front row seats to the shipment of the cubes? We let ourselves in, actually. We're here to see the mayor. Hmm, I see. So tell us, Mr. Murloc, where is... Wait, here he comes. There's the mayor. Rachel. Papa. Looks like the whole cast is here. We need to prove Murloc's deception and put a stop to his scheme. Yeah, but where do we even start? Tim Goodman, what are you doing here? <laughs> I've been investigating a mysterious group. They're called Unitas. <laughs> Unitas. Dun -dun -dun. Investigating Unitas? Why are you doing that? Unitas has been causing some serious problems, Mayor Myers. Problems? What are you talking about? Tell us. Papa, please listen. Mayor Myers, Unitas is a dangerous organization. But all they do is conduct research into Pokemon. I created Unitas for the benefit of Rhyme City. How could that be dangerous? On what basis do you make this claim? Well... Uh, this, uh, yeah, that's, that's probably the most dangerous that they've done. No, really? Ah, uh, you need to do oh. that. Oh, oh, okay, well. Come okay. on, think back. Sorry, sorry, I'm dumb. Sorry. What did they do? What? What is? Ah, going? Unitas didn't oh, okay. Do that. Yeah, dang it. What, I thought. Come on, think back. What did Unitas do? What's the difference? Who did what? I'm so confused. Okay, they saw the Aurora drop. Remember the jewel theft at the Dennis residence? Yes, I did hear that the Aurora drop was stolen the day after the award ceremony. That's right, and Unitas was involved in that incident. Excuse me. And I also have evidence that the Aurora drop was brought here. How could that be? How could it be? I'm sure that was just a few bad apples. Ha ha ha. Or maybe one big bad you apple. can't say the whole organization is dangerous just because of that. 
Actually, they've committed other crimes as well. And they even targeted us, too. All right. They attacked us, right? All right, good. Good. Got that Everywhere right. Everywhere we went, we kept getting attacked by Unitas. I'm sure that was just a misunderstanding. Nope. Misunderstanding? They even went after me and Jessica. Rachel, you too? Murloc, did you know about this? Yeesh, he's completely ignoring us. <laughs> Please, Papa, you have to stop this. I can't do that. You can't, you're the mayor. Not when human Pokemon coexistence is so close to being achieved. We already coexist. And the cubes are how you'll achieve that. The friendship cubes. Exactly. Pokemon can be dangerous at times, but the friendship cubes will solve that problem. Friendship cubes? Mayor Myers, those cubes are the problem. Do you have any idea how Pokemon have been harmed because of those cubes? All right. That happened. Yes. The PPB incident. The case with Butler. I did hear about that. He was using one of those cubes to make a Pokemon commit crimes. He what? Why would he misuse the cubes that way? Because of that, my Pikachu was wrongfully arrested. I nearly lost a member of my family because of those cubes. <laughs> done. Done, done. You've helped me understand how the friendship cubes could be dangerous. If they're misused, which is not enough of a reason to stop this operation. Papa! With the friendship cubes, humans and Pokémon can finally understand one another. Mayor Myers, can't you see you're being deceived? Hmm? What do you mean? All right. To deprive Pokémon of their free will. The purpose of the cubes, in truth, is to deprive Pokémon of their free will and force them to do what humans want. I was told the friendship cubes were revolutionary devices that would allow humans and Pokémon to live in harmony. Mayor Myers, you've been deceived this whole time by the name Friendship Cube. They're actually called Control Cubes. Please, you have to stop this before it's too late. No, never. <laughs> no. Even if it's all true, this was Emma's dream. No. You know this wasn't Mama's dream. Rachel. <laughs> what are you doing Papa, here? Don't you remember when I was little and got lost in Bamboo Burrow and Ursa Ring saved me? I was afraid and crying. And since it was worried for my safety, the Ursa Ring chose to rescue me. All Pokémon have free will and can think for themselves. But you're trying to impose your will onto theirs. Do you really believe that's right? How can you claim to coexist with Pokémon if you take away their free will? Papa, is that really the future you want for Rhyme City? Because... Mama's dream for people and Pokemon was nothing like this. And if she knew, if Mama saw this, you just can't do this, Papa! Rachel, I didn't realize what the friendship cubes were really doing. I see now that I was wrong. I'm sorry. Da da da. Rachel. It's okay. 
Oh, but what about this I nearly mad scientist? Made a terrible mistake that couldn't have been undone. Don't forget my dad in the chamber over as there. That's I'd the most like important to, part. We can't wrap this up just yet. There's one last problem to take care of. Yes. Who took advantage of my plan? Who could have done these things? There's only one person it could have been. It's time to expose the one pulling the strings, Tim. Yeah. It's Murloc. He's the real culprit we all knew. Stop him. The one behind this? Mr. Murloc! You're the culprit! <laughs> His... uh, will you shut up? Yeah, you're being too noisy. I have to say, I'm incredibly disappointed in you, Mayor Myers. You know you're playing right into Pokemon's hands, don't you? Rhyme City's a lost cause if you can't even protect your only daughter. What did you say? Go. Murloc! You were deceiving me? Of Your course. Your role in this has come to an end, Mayor. As for the great detective duo, I knew you were good, but even I'm impressed you made it all the way here. Mr. Murloc! Those cubes will never be used again. Give up already. <laughs> oh, this guy. You really think I care about that plan? It was nothing more than a means to an end. Behold! This is the masterpiece that I've truly been creating. You mean, this has nothing to do with the cubes? We saw the meteorite and the aurora drop in the lab. Do those have something to do with my dad and Pikachu? Excuse me? You dared to snoop through my research? <laughs> Common rabble like you wouldn't understand it anyway. Explaining it would be pointless. Just pay attention. Pay attention? I've got a bad feeling about this. Here we go. Something bad's gonna happen, probably. Or wait, what's happening? Oh, they're all controlled. You guys, you're all right. <laughs> but look on their backs. Here they are. Huh? Pikachu! His mouth was like still moving. <laughs> What do you think you're doing? Mayor, but stop why, him. Why, Pangoro? Tim, look. Of course, they're all being controlled. Yeah, wait, no. <laughs> You're wondering why I've done all this. Why is this part text? Okay, I'm about to realize my dream might be dream of becoming a Pokemon. You want to become a Pokemon? Yes, yes I do. And to achieve that, I needed this. See, why was that little individual part like text? I believe you may recognize this. That was like a, there's a big the part. Aurora drop. What are you? What are you gonna do with that? Easy. <laughs> Pikachu's locked up over there.
so beautiful. Was that, wait. What? <laughs> That's him? Or who's gonna be? It worked. Wait, what? A Pokemon? Wait, hold on a minute. What Professor Gordon said about the Pokemon from space? Huh. <laughs> Deoxys has returned! <laughs> Deoxys has returned. This can't be happening. Mayor, you gotta to stop this. I was complicit in this <laughs> madman's plan. Oh, the best is yet to come. Mayor's doing nothing. Just sitting there idly. Oh no. Pikachu! Murloc! Let him go! Oh, I've come too far to stop now. Why did the mayor like the sleeping man and Detective Pikachu both brought me the energy I need? These two energies come together as one. All of my research, all of my dreams will finally become reality! Alright, yay. Oh, <sighs> goodbye. What is he that? Why does he need the, those two? I don't understand. What is he doing? So he's going to be up in there, probably. <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't tell me Murloc just... Yes! This is the answer! How can a person become a Pokémon? How horrifying. The best way for humans to understand Pokémon is for them to become Pokémon themselves. A union of human and Pokémon. This is the true meaning of coexistence! <laughs> Great. Now what happens? Oops. Oh, he broke the controls. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh dear. Are you hoping to offend your friend Pikachu? Well, what are you waiting for? Did it work? <laughs> As you can see, weaklings like you aren't even worth my time. Why didn't he just throw them overboard? Over the railing. Incredible! I can feel the power welling up within me! So this is what it's like to be a Pokemon! <laughs> well, you're kind of an OP Pokemon. You get that jewel. The Aurora jewel or whatever it's called. It's kind of not fair. It's just like, this is what it feels like. I think it's time for me to enjoy the outside world. Wait! I'll be seeing you. Well, great. Well, he's gone. The mayor didn't do a single thing to try what to stop now? him the whole time. We've got to do something. He just watched. But first, I need to help Pikachu. They should have tried to pull him away What's from the that? controls or anything. Uh oh. Oh, he's back. <laughs> what happened? What's happening? 
No, mute. Okay, you two or whatever. Mewtwo! I cannot imagine why, but I sense a human's presence within that Pokémon. Tell me, what has happened? That guy used the energy in Dad and Pikachu to become... Deoxys! Is that so? Yep. Not only has he misused my energy, he is using a Pokémon for his... Oof! Oof. <laughs> Oh, it's a fight. gonna collapse before either one of them wins we need to get somewhere safe we need to rescue my dad and Pikachu that's it Rachel mr. Myers take shelter in the elevator but, Tim. I'll save Pikachu okay Growlithe and the others might be hurt I'll take care of them Come on, Papa, let's go! Mayor, you right. continue to do nothing. Tim, you be careful. Yeah, Tim's gonna do this. Of course. Wow. The mayor's like the biggest coward ever, dude. <laughs> he didn't do anything. <laughs> Growlithe and the others will be safe with Rachel. I gotta focus on saving Pikachu! Rescue Pikachu. He's inside, but I can't open it. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, but you don't have to shout. Okay, I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, more or less, but this thing won't open up. Can you get me out of here? It won't open from this side either. It must be locked. You don't see a passcode terminal around here by any chance, do you? I'll take a look. Thanks, Tim. Passcode terminal. All right. What was the other number? All right. What was the other one? One seven. Well, I don't know. The, what was the other one? One seven zero oh, six zero oh, eight. Got it. That was easy. Pikachu! Wow, that was intense. But looks like both me and Pikachu are okay. What a relief. I gotta say, looks like the party's in full swing. Wow. Believe it or not, it's Murloc. Yeah, I know. Looks like he's become a Pokemon. We have to stop him somehow. I can't imagine Mewtwo losing. But we humans caused this mess. We're the ones who've got to clean it up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what about your body? I look safe enough in there. Anyway, let's hurry. All right, what do I gotta do? You okay? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. This is bad. Oof, I'm feeling kind of wobbly. Must be all the energy he drained out of me. Oh no, what about the original Pikachu's consciousness? Hey, don't look down. Don't look so down. Everything will be fine once we take care of things here. Besides, we got YouTube right over there. Yeah. So all we gotta do is stop Murloc. But how? Your guess is as good as mine. All we know is we gotta do something whenever we can. Right. Ray Detective tip number 48. Never ever give up. That's the spirit, Tim. First, let's stop this machine. All right, let's take a look over here. Well. Murloc uses this machine to fuse himself with Deoxys. If we can stop the energy Murloc extracted from being supplied to the machine, well, we might be able to refuse, reverse the fusion. But how do we do that? What are you asking me? I've got no clue how to stop this thing. But in this situation, I think the simplest thing to do is cut the power. Come on, Tim, unplug it, right? Unplug it, how do we unplug it? I know that was one of the things, unplug it. All right, well, I remember the unplug thing. It was like one of the warnings. 
relaxed body. He looks like he's just sleeping, but he's actually fused with the Pokemon, just like Dad. Where's the plug? Okay, here we go. This must be the power supply for the fusion machine. How can we stop this thing? Sorry, Tim, this is way beyond me. I thought you knew a lot about electricity. Electricity is one thing. Why would I know anything about a specialized piece of equipment like this? Let's just fiddle around with it and see what works. Not like we can do anything else. Maybe we can learn something useful if you start pressing random buttons. As long as it doesn't explode or something if I press the wrong one. I'm pretty sure that won't happen. It doesn't make sense to rig a machine this important with explosives. There's no time. I'm just going to go for it. While you're pushing buttons, Tim, try to deduce how to cut the power off. This this thing here, the switch. No good. It didn't cut the power. There's probably a specific order you got to do this in. All right, let's do this one. This one has one red. This one has two reds. This one has three reds. This one has no reds. Oh. That's wrong. So maybe we'll go here. We'll go blues. We'll count the blues. I'm, I'm so dumb. <laughs> One blue. Two blues. Three blues. Four blues. Let's do it. We got it. All right. All the switches are off. Looks like that shut down the power supply. Good job, Tim. I'm not so sure cutting the power doesn't seem to be reversing the fusion at all. Darn, back to the drawing board. I think we're gonna fiddle with the fusion machine itself. It's not like I've got any better ideas. Come on, Pikachu, to the fusion machine. I, that's the, that's the goal, that's the goal. Right here. It looks even more complicated than the power supply. Yeah, but we still gotta stop it. Those, okay. Great, let's remove those capsules, but how to remove them, I don't know. Uh, trial and error, here we go, what do we do? Let's, can we just unplug it over here? Yeah, pull the cable out, try that. Yeah, we disconnected it, but the machine's still running. All right, try poking around some more. This should be right. All right, push that button. That release the lock. Try this. This should be. All right, got that out. Let's just get this thing out then. Yes. All right, way to go, Tim. Okay. All right, we we did it. Let's see if anything happens. It didn't work. Nothing's changing. Maybe removing the excess energy didn't do anything because they're already fused together. Yeah, maybe so. Think, Tim. There has to be another way. Wait a minute. Murloc wrote about the energy in that report of his we uncovered. Yeah, but it's so hard to remember. <laughs> That's right. What exactly did Murloc use that energy for again? Uh, right. Yeah, to fuse himself. That's it. If Murloc used that energy to fuse himself with Deoxys, then maybe that's the key to separating them. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you going on about? Murloc and Deoxys are fused together because of that energy. According to the report, the balance of that energy is crucial. Oh, so we just gotta disrupt that balance. Yeah, but how do we do that? Uh, no. Maybe. I'm curious about the cube. No. No, that won't work. Okay, fine. They're fused together, like me and Pikachu. Yeah, but you were able to be controlled. An outside force. Something like that ought to throw them off balance. All right, all right. Fine. Expose them to more energy. If we can somehow expose the access to these two energies... That excess energy will throw off the balance. But how do we do that? 
Once we figure that out, we can get back at him for throwing me into that pod. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Deoxys flying around, the busted fusion machine, and then there's me, the great detective Pikachu. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Aha! I think I've got it! A bolt of brilliance! <laughs> Did he trigger it already? I'll jump up from the top of this machine and hit Deoxys with the energy. Oh, how very thoughtful. Coffee. <laughs> Maybe that thing triggered the coffee or something. Time to close this case. All right. <laughs> if we take the elevator. I should be able to get over there. Okay, and I'm over, Tim. And I'm over. Yeah. What is that? Oh, those are okay. I took those out of the machine. Got it. There. Mm. Looks like we're ready to go. So hit it. Hit it. <laughs> What are we doing here? What's happening? You're sure you can do this? You mean hit Deoxys in midair with two capsules of energy? You can't do that. Only I can do this. Yeah, I know. It's just, isn't there another way? Come on. Who do you think I am, Tim? In all my cases, I've never given up. I'm the great detective, Harry Goodman! We've gathered all the evidence we need. Now all we gotta do is use it to pin down the culprit. Alright, great. Let's do it. Please be careful. Just leave this to me. Wait, wait, what are they doing? They may unleash those moves. This place will explode. I've got to hurry. Go. Pikachu. Good luck. Hurry up. Go get him. Go get him. Okay. Let's get this done. Just need our body to hold out for me. You got this. Oh, I'm pushing it. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. Go! Sorry, I was so distracted, man. I feel like the pace of this is moving really slowly. And so I was just looking at my phone. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? Nice. How could such a insignificant? Oh, there's the Aurora jewel or whatever. We did it. Pikachu! Oh, no. We need to get the dad out. Come <laughs> on! You've got to hurry! No, what about the dad body? Oh, jeez. This could be bad. I can't. I've used up all my strength. Can, come on. You can tap into a little bit more, can't you? I can't make it. You need to go on without me. But, Dad... Dad? Just go get him. I guess we'll put the elevator down a little bit. I don't Get know. Get them to safety. 
Don't wait up for me! Jeez Louise, I guess I do have a bunch more people over here. Yeah, I got my future wife with me. Gotta save her. It should let me choose. Yep, here we go. Gotta save the people. I mean, I don't know. See ya. It sucks. <laughs> but see ya. Take care of Irene and Sophia. They need you. Yeah, that's true. They probably do need me. You've grown into a fine young man. Thank you, Dad. And one heck of a great detective. Thank you, Daddy. Pikachu. Well, well, well. Dad, no! <laughs> Jeez. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright, we're running out of there. This whole place is blowing up with my dad and Pikachu. But I would, I would go a little further from the building just in case, you know. Just saying. Or Pikachu. Nope, they're dead. They're dead. That's just what happened. Damn. What? What was this? Oh, Mewtwo. That makes sense. I'm glad Mewtwo was there. The pod? Oh, what? It's a pod. What? I bet Mewtwo did it. Although that landing would have been pretty heavy. That's <laughs> his dad. He's alive. Well, thank you. Dad! Tim! Hey! Hey, hey! Sorry I kept you waiting so dad! long. <laughs> I, I, why'd you say the scientist? I bet Mewtwo put everyone in there and just tossed Easy them out. Now. You're gonna break my ribs. I'm so glad you're okay. Pikachu, too. Yeah. Little guy's sound asleep. <laughs> he really did a great job back there. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> that was me, you know. <laughs> That's what he said. Maybe. <laughs> That's fair. Come on. Everyone's waiting. Let's go home. I wonder if he'll be able to understand Pikachu anymore. Yeah. It would really suck to be able to talk to your pet for a little while, but then suddenly you, like, you can't talk to him anymore. Yeah, I think Mewtwo saved the day there. Alright, well. The end! I don't know if there's like a post credit scene. We gotta get to it. How do I get to it? I got to see if there's anything after this story-wise because, I mean, I want to know what happened. I mean, I just want to get to it. come on, Dad. Please, take me on a case. I think I'd make a great detective. I don't know. You get bored really fast. What's that got to do with it? Sophia, you're still young, and detective work is dangerous. Aww. Go on, Harry. Tell her what it's like. Uh, Sophia. The thing about being a detective is... I could take your calls! Oh, well, maybe. And yeah, maybe Harry. you're the secretary. Pick up? So what's the story with Detective Pikachu, then? Are we ever going to understand him again? Or is he just our pet now? <laughs> it's, it's been lobotomized. Alright, that was it! What does load do? That's it. That's the end of the game. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for more Pokemon. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join on YouTube and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop. Come back next time for more.